I'm lurking. That's right. You see what I'm I mean? I fulfill. I am the supreme being. I make the rules, and when I say goes, uh, this is not a place for you to stand on your soapbox and complain about censorship and freedom of speech. Because the bottom line is, you don't have freedom of speech. This is my land. Control this desire. I'm drinking. This desire. I'm lurking. Per take. Hello, my children. This desire. <laughs> take. This desire. <laughs> Control this desire. Per devour. Part of the process, man. It's just part of corporate America. Fuck you. Band, 
That's not my intro. Roll my actual intro. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Introducing the Chocolate Starfish. Welcome. Who? Yes. Uh, welcome. It's a restream of the Phil stream. Right? Uh, <laughs> he was sleeping yesterday again. This is what I wanted to start up with because uh, that's how I called the stream. So I don't want this to be one of those streams where I just clickbait people and the thing that's in the title doesn't actually happen. So I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, Twitter.com? Yes, Twitter.com. And for some reason, they, they left the Dogecoin thing on Twitter because it was supposed to be like a, a goof for uh, fucking for the 1st of April. But then they forgot to take it off because they don't know how the site works. Anyways, here is the clip of Phil sleeping again. Again. Bro, this dude is fucking crazy. He just sleeps like every night stream at this point. And it's like, isn't it like fucking 8 p.m. for him on the night stream? It's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, okay, so here it is. He's sleeping to the, the exotic rhythms of Japanese people speaking Japanese. <laughs> it's so pathetic, man. It's like he stayed up like actually all night. And then now he's looking around. Oh, did they see me? Was the camera on? Bro, the camera's on constantly. You still don't know? Oh, fucking silly dude. And there, there was another one. I don't even know how many times he actually fell asleep. Right, um, then the second thing I wanted to talk about. This Friday, I would like to invite you all to Phil's birthday party. Oh no, I can't hear the fucking pop-ups again. I'm gonna fucking kill something. Uh, hold on. Hold on, because if this is a problem, I'll, I'll have to restart the actual stream. Oh no, it's not a problem. I don't think it is. You guys? Shut up. You guys should be able to hear them, right? You probably heard this, right? Uh, let me hear it again. Can I send you the shirt I tweeted you yesterday? Yeah, you sent it to me. You you tweeted it out. It was a burger shirt. It was very fun. Um, you couldn't hear this? Okay, I'll, I'll let you hear it again. Anyways. Can I send you the shirt I tweeted you yesterday? Yes, it was a, it was a burger type shirt. And yeah, the video is not supposed to have sound. Um... I would like to invite you this Friday to Phil's birthday bash where we're going to be having fun way down on level one and we're going to watch the, the whole Phil stream and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to be DJing and, <laughs> and we're all going to be, we're all invited to Phil's uh, birthday bash and it's going to be very fun. I don't even know what he's going to be doing, even though he's been hyping this up for like Actually, probably four months at this point. It was like early December, I think, when he first started talking about it. Or maybe it was like January or something. Anyways, it's it's weird. Uh, if you're Catholic, you're probably going to be having like Easter or something. So there you go. And I'll I'll have like a special layout with, uh, <laughs> with birthday stuff. It's going to be like a sweet 16 birthday party. It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> We're going to clown it up big, big style. Uh, there's also this clip of him not understanding what, what X means. 
right? And this case is like 1.5x, which means like increased by 50%. And he thinks it's increased by 150% because he's Phil. So let's watch this clip. No, Carligo, that's incorrect. That's incorrect. It, it increases the damage by 1.5 times. 1.5 times. Multiply the damage. It says increase the damage. That means if you increased it by one times, that means that it's double. If you increase it by 1.5, it means you're increasing it by 150%. See? It's not See? one time. It's not a multiplier. It's an increase percent. It's not a multiplier. It's an increase percent. Also known as a multiplier. That's different. That's different. See that? <laughs> yeah, this is the Scott Steiner math. <laughs> That's incorrect. Well, then the game is wrong. Then the, and then the game is wrong. He's the only one who doesn't get it. The game is wrong. The game is wrong. I'm drinking. I'm lurking and I'm stalking. <laughs> Just read it. Yeah, this is the clip. It's from Palms on Twitter. Increase power by 1.5. That means 150%. No! A whole 150% increase. So 50%. Be 25. That's what that's saying. If it's only... Because uh, you start at 1. And then 1.5 means like you increase it by half. Then it shouldn't say that. Then it should only say... I'm drinking. By 0. .5. So if that's correct, then the wording's wrong. The wording is the wording is wrong. The game is wrong. Everybody else understands it. He is wrong. The game is wrong. That's fucked up. Well, that next time, buy something. <sighs> they fucked it up. They don't even understand English then. Blame Capcom for not understanding how to fucking mathematically call something the right thing. And then he gets pissed off because people laugh at him for being wrong. And he gets pissed off on somebody else. That should have been way more than they I, I feel ripped off. <sighs> that Capcom after this stream, I'm going to demand a refund for my ticket. And then we get like this clown segment, but yeah, like uh, like you said, Scott Steiner math, this phenomenal fucking video. You know they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at Small Joe. Yeah, this is godlike. Statement is not true. See, normally if you go one on one with another wrestler, you got a fifty-fifty. Normally, you start at fifty-fifty, right? I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a twenty-five percent at best at beat me, and then you add Kurt Angle to the mix. Your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three-way at sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me and he's not even going to try. So, Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance minus my 25% chance and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of <laughs> We keep going, there's more math. One on one, and then add 66 and two thirds percent. I got 141 <laughs> and two thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. The thing is that, that his math is right, I think. See, Joe, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice. This is, um, once I cut this promo on ALT's wife, you can probably go find that stream. I don't even remember which, which that being said that was. I think it was like a group think or something. I don't know. But I, I remember I did it. It was very fun. Uh, but that's a fantastic promo. And it also, he does it live. So, you know, it, there's a, it's a mouthful. It's, it's a lot. Speaking of a mouthful, um, Pastor Miller is back. And his first video was crying about his marriage and being addicted to porn. So he literally is Pastor Derek. Let me tell you something, brother. When I hold a man's penis, I tell you what I do. I hold on to it tight, brother. Cause hey, man, I want you to suck, hey, 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 suck a dog off. There we go. He literally turned out to be Pastor Derek. And now he's he's ranting about some like atheist channels or something like that. Some weird shit. But yeah. He, he is back-ish. And I felt bad about him in that first video when he was crying about stuff. And then in the second one, he makes this. Uh, oh, this dude is still not live. Wow, very fun. Um, Eric Miller. There we go. Here, at, right in the beginning, he makes this, like, weird flex. Dinner's commentary, season three. Season three. With me, Morgan Freeman. With Morgan Freeman. With Derek Freeman, De Derek Bustman. <laughs> up on the no. what's old. You you never give up your manhood. Up season two. That's when he took all our manhoods, and now somebody else is giving his wife uh, their manhood. 
No! If you talking about I'm just doing this, like, nigga, you can get- And we got a clip of some dude. I made a whole community give their manhood up. He won, you guys. And then he got this weird fucking video here complaining about, like, single husband blues. Look, I watched whole ass 34 minutes. And, um, I can probably find the part when he was talking about uh, porn. Can I find porn? Oh, yeah, there, there we go. There we go. I can't, I can't even get around my wife. I can't even be with my wife. I, it's my, it's my anniversary. And I gotta be by. Hold on, bro. Talk about porn. I just don't want to suffer in those triggers. Even if it's easy to get into. That's the problem. It's easy to get into it. It t porn is accessible on your phone. At Hold on, bro. Hold on. Anytime on your phone. Like, why why put this up on the internet? That That is my question. Especially on a channel that everybody shit on you for. What, like, what? And then come these triggers. There's the porn addiction sne sneaks in. Because what is that for? Porn addiction Affect is lurking. <laughs> the p porn is lurking. I'm lurking. <laughs> this is the porn. And the porn is also drinking. I'm drinking. This is the porn also. It's cheap. It's <laughs> fantasy. It's delusion. I had I realized that. Bro, what? just just like stop beating your meat. Like it's it's not that hard. Go anytime you feel like you want to beat your meat, go out for a fucking walk. It causes me to trigger the for, uh, into my porn addiction. Loss. It is like bro, why, why why put this out on the internet? Why? Why? I need my boyfriend. Okay, I get it. You need your boyfriend. Oh, so what do we have here? We're shooting him in the face because on the floor. Ah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Let's see, do we have some, uh, oh, what is this? What are we enhancing? Oh, God damn it. There was the double snort. Speaking of which, the tractor beam are 20 subs away from 1K. So it would be very positive if we, the boyfriends, could uh, make a charitable contribution. And get them to 1,000 subscription ships. And I'm going to show you something. This is the, the mystical, mythical, uh, double barrel snort. Look at this. Never would have done any of these things. Excuse me. Never would have done any of these things. The double barrel it's dual core double style wow that's incredible that's that's a fat one and they have some other stuff here this is the the reverse uh sucking on the penny come on 10 more subscription ships and we're gonna have a celebration where i'm gonna play a bunch of annoying fucking sound bites uh what was i gonna play this one oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is really intelligent. Now, this is meaningful content. This is what content means. It's very meaningful. Come on, 10 more. Let's go. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, we have Metal Style Remix. That, that is really cool. Rock Style, Metal Style. Is there... Oh, yeah, he had a weird, like rant about uh wrestlemania but i mean like what he's not even watching wrestling like what is he even talking about but this is one of those where he tries to like argue in bad faith in support of someone in this case is wrestling fans last time it was like pc gaming fans and it it's like pretending like he cares about him just so he can say he was right DSP's face when it, oh yeah this this is great this is his face when um uh, when he realized he walked into a logic trap and he was gonna have to worm his way out of showing the champion's account to Craig and this was the face he gave this is a juicy fucking face I love it it's it's literally the blobfish face because the um, this goatee the way that it looks it makes him look like blobfish face even when he he's like having a normal face it makes it look frowny always. But yeah, this is the, the face of defeat. When you finally know you got clapped by the trolls. And then you have to like, 
cope with the fact and justify how it's actually not like that. How something else happened. You actually won in some way. Uh, let's see what we got here. We don't have much, huh? What the fuck? Anyways, what else we got? Let's uh, do a quick Twitter roundup. Yeah, this is the fucking WrestleMania shit. It was, um... Uh, I did. I don't know. I didn't watch it. It was probably stupid. Oh, yeah, and he had this weird thing with people were, ha were coming to uh, inspect his alarm. And he talked about it in... It was supposed to be, like, five minutes. So I guess it's over? I don't even know what happened with it. But as far as I know, his alarm fell off, so he probably had to, like, duct tape it again or something. I don't know. It's 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 some fucking DSP shit. Um, yesterday, late stream, he made, like, 20 bucks. Day stream, he made, like, 120 or something. So he wins. Again. He can't keep getting away with it. So many W's. And I guess that's it. I don't think there's there's more to round up. What else happened? Um, let's do a quick channel audit style thing. I hit him with the rocket. He's fine. I go up hit him with a rocket. Dying. He has some new shorts, I guess. Uh, why? Why does he have a red circle around his camera like he's fucking Bigfoot? I'm very confused. Oh. Come on, man. Oh. Just what I need. Stupid bear trap. Oh, yeah. Secret Limited had a new video. That's a that's a good one. It's about their beef, essentially. It's their rivalry. Oh, come on. And, uh, yeah, there was a very cool moment in that one. Which, um, I think I have a screenshot somewhere, but fuck it. It's probably on Discord. Where it's him talking about how long the actual thing was. Uh, how long the the escort segment was, which was like a minute and a half or something, out of like a three-hour thing. So, anyways, um, this is some short. I don't. I didn't even realize I was watching it. Trap now. Okay, you can barely see like what? half the screen. Why is why is this face cam so big? Who is making these? Who is making these shorts? And why are they so bad? I want an explanation. I want that person to be held responsible and crucified is preferably uh, what else we got samurai gone wild is this the the one with the gay sex yes it is we're irresistible to men yes this is the gay boy segment uh, yeah i got it what's that is that what you want it takes all kinds of yes it's for someone else yeah all right yeah whatever you say buddy sure it is hey uh, why don't we go somewhere quiet just you and me bro let me tell you something He's brother flushed i can practically hear his heart beating and his crotch throbbing Oh no, I love you, mister. I love you. Let's do this. Oh, I love you. I love you, Rio. Oh, I love you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he's gone berserk. I can't just fight him again while he's like this. Bruh. I have to get out of here. <laughs> Thanks for the water. Well, that's some typical Yakuza style wow. humor. Oh my god, we gotta outrun him. Oh my god, he's right there. He's just boners out. Run. Quickly! Quickly, 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 out of the And we got the Mickey Mouse voice. Oh, quickly! With a big raging boner! I heard it was- With a big raging boner! We got Isaac Heimler flashbacks for a second. <laughs> dude, 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 this, this dude is trash. Streamer suffers a cat attack live on stream. Oh, this is when Jasper fucking- This is so fucking embarrassing, man. These shorts are so out of touch and so cringy and just- like stupid that that's all i can say they're just stupid it's somebody who is not creative enough to do anything who gives footage to somebody who's not creative enough to edit it in any kind of interesting or fun way and then they just slap it on fucking youtube and they expect something to happen and then it gets what like three thousand views uh this one doesn't even have a thousand but it will i guess it was uploaded today or something are you ready for the stream yes you are now listen to this sick guitar work. And mute. Because 
this gets the mute treatment because it fucking sucks. Let's do a vibe check on the channel. Let's do a sub audit. Come on, four more subscribers. Four more. Let's make this happen. Link is in the chat. I'm drinking. I'm drinking. Yo, oh, yeah, this is the new entry. It's it's also from Shamar. So now we got the lurking and drinking. I'm lurking. I'm drinking. You got the two most important things in life. Lurking and drinking. And the next one is driving. <laughs> Anyways. Good morning, everyone. Phil here. Good morning, Welcome my fellow Americans. Podcast. How's everyone today? I hope you're doing well. Let me get this leaderboard straight. And, uh... Welcome to the show. I hope you're all having a good one. I hope that uh, this week has treated you well. You've been enjoying my content, hopefully, here on DSP Gaming, as well as the stuff that came out earlier this week on DSP React. And uh, I hope that you're ready for some chill fun today. As you know, uh, this week we've kind of been alternating the schedule back and forth between more stressful and more chill. Today is definitely our more chill day. All right, so welcome. It's Tuesday, the 4th of April, 2023. Hello, hello. I hope you're all, you know, in a good mood and ready to relax. Um, this podcast today will be a lot more laid back. Um, much like yesterday, there really isn't too much crazy stuff to talk about today. There's not a ton of gaming news or anything. He looks like super that. sleepy today. Uh, what I would the other like day, today, like the last day I restreamed, he was in a very good mood. But today he looks to really sleepy. Potentially hungover. This coming Friday, uh, will I'd like to talk a little bit about what we're gonna do that day. And we're gonna talk about the in birthday, as if we didn't we talk about the birthday for, a for two months. Really like actually two months. The details of how it's gonna work. Or hey guys, my birthday is coming up. Hey guys, my birthday is coming up. We should start talking about it. Okay, I'm not really. Hey guys, my girl, my birthday is coming up. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You know, and uh, this week is my birthday. Let's talk about. You guys are gonna enjoy and how we're gonna do it. Um. So how are we gonna do it? Talk about how do people actually do it, right? Do they set it up just capturing a browser or whatever? Um, and what topics would you like to see covered for live tier maker rankings? Oh no, we're gonna like do to a tier maker back and forth about you know what topics should be covered, what should we rank together, and stuff like that. Uh, I feel like there's a what lot. What time to do. it is? Game, is it in fucking Seattle right now? TV series. You could do uh, food. You could do all kinds Bro, of. Oh, it's 11 a.m. This and, dude uh, looks like he, he was today. out at the club until now. Because I do need to start sure. setting up for Friday's event. Um, I was just thinking about it today. It, it's 11 a.m. for real. This dude well, like looks like he's fucking. I have an extra dude. Come, come on. Be the Conjuring. The Devil Made Me Do It, which I watched a couple nights ago. The Bigger Made Me Do It. I want to do that review for DSP Reacts by either tonight or tomorrow. So that's coming. Yeah, because the uh, dynamite uh, Hetty. He looks. He my looks haggard. Battle Royal. Which is going to happen during the birthday event. Definitely, it looks today. like so obviously he was up time like down. doing cocaine at the club until like six a.m. Thing. And I was like, well, and then well, woke up at seven, and now now it's seven, and figure out exactly how to make it work, so that I'm kind of equipped to do it, and I will spend some time, either one of these nights or even it's during eleven a.m. It blows my fucking mind. It's my real birthday, um, to try to set it up and get it ready to go, so that way we can just have it kind of roll right into it during the marathon right yeah the beamers hit a thousand huh and trying to figure it out um hold on you know and having issues with it live i'd rather have it already set up and, and going well you know smoothly so so that'll be a segment we're going to talk about yeah today. um outside of that yep. really there's not much I'm going drinking. on in the realm of news and everything i've been checking and really no new game news or anything going on today <laughs> i'm uh, drinking so really it's going to be a way more laid-back podcast today just kind of relaxing and chilling with you guys and uh, and preparing. And today, you know, the schedule today also is a chill gaming schedule. Let's talk about that. Let's go into the schedule now. Uh, Metroid Prime oh, It's going to be a chill today. schedule. And last time around, a couple days ago when we played it, we got the X-Ray Visor, we got the Super Bomb, and we got the... Super Bad. Which also is called the Grapple Beam. And, oh, what's up, Jade? Good to see you back. Jade's back from his trip. I'm sure he'll tell us about his trip today, and we can talk a little bit about that. Um, but anyway, um, we got all these items, and I think at this point, if I'm remembering in the game, uh, we're near <laughs> yeah, the big end. Yeah, big ups, uh, Black Mage for streams and we'll beat it. the 13 like, months. We're going back to Magmore I'm Cabin. drinking for you. I'm drinking. We could swing uh, he says uh, he dipped into the birthday nose candy today. Um, 
Well, that couldn't have been we need to go to. anytime yeah, soon because he looks like he's like going down at this point. Yeah, he needs need, another dip. That he needs another red snort. Red gun, whatever it's called. I don't know if remember what it's called in this game. But once you get that, you can go back to that temple area and there's a third red target thing to shoot. And I think that may open up something else. And also, you could open all the red doors in the map that you haven't been able to open up to this point, of which there's a few. So... I think once we get that, that's nearing the end, because I think then you just go around... And now and we get, get game recaps, items, which is called, totally one of the least whatever, interesting things so about hard, a DSP stream. Looking for the game them. recaps are just so fucking game, stupid. Right? The final area and the it reminds me of when I was a kid, and I was like... Like playing video there. games and then going today? to my grandpa and be so. like, Grandpa, I, I did this in the video game. And then I like, well, I guess it all I shot him. Goes. And then like, it so exploded. And it was so fun. And then my grandpa looked at me and was like, yeah, okay. I'm being told they're called the Chozo okay. Artifacts. Thank you, um, the 12 Chozo Artifacts. We only have three of them. Uh, I want to say thanks to those who have been here for Metroid because you've been a chill audience. You've been good. For the most part, you've helped me. Last time, I, there was this one part I was stuck and no one around knew the game. I was like, oh, shit, now what am I going to do? But for the most part, you guys have been a great audience. I told you the reason this playthrough was going to work this time was because of the interaction. The first time, I wasn't an interactive streamer. I was kind of ignoring my audience. And quite frankly, it wasn't really working in that regard. Um... <laughs> I, I can't believe he was. He had a point where he was literally was like live streaming uh, and intentionally ignoring chat. The controls and I, it's the hard for me to believe wow. that he would be that trash. Like, but like, yes, yeah, he was like that game. trash. Well, this time I get it. Like I really do like this game a lot this uh. time around because the controls work. We're not doing motion controls, and you guys interacting with me have made it a better playthrough in my opinion. But this is actually they tell you what to the do. Lowest viewed playthrough I'm doing right now. In views. <laughs> Which yeah, it probably got some anything. terrible like, views what? on it. Yeah, this is the game. Like 200 views or something. About a month ago, you guys wanted to see it, and I've been playing it now for two weeks, and... It's and now you see, you guys wanted to do it. Immediately, immediately we twisted it into the, you guys wanted to see it, so why are you not supporting? Number three, you know, it, it's Nintendo. It's kind of like the triple whammy. Like, yeah, yeah. whenever I play a Nintendo game, it's very hard to get people to watch it. I, I don't know why, because I really like Nintendo, but... Not really. <laughs> they Actually, go punish that, Kate Army for one month. Because usually, like Pokemon, I'm you lurking, Pokemon I'm drinking, game, right, I'm touching them right now. That come to watch me play. You can Pokemon, touch them anytime you feel that. like it. People like as long as they're and of age. The and do I'm stuff lurking. Like that. But <laughs> Nintendo I'm stuff drinking. rough, uh, which sucks. Cause I grew up playing Nintendo. I really like Nintendo. I feel like Nintendo kind of put themselves into a certain situation Shouldn't purposefully, but it's Samus not necessarily is a woman, dude. in line with my It's fine because you can't tell she's a woman because she's wearing an outfit that anybody else can or, you know, certain job wear. Horror games. They love hey, big up Snood for uh, the 10 gifted memberships. I want to rock! PC, and it's like, well, yes, you are. Big it doesn't matter what you say, you definitely are directly in line with that. Um... Ham Killers, I hope Zelda will be good. I guarantee you, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom will be a great game. And it probably won't get much attention on my channel. I'm just being honest. Like, I get the feeling that's what's going to happen is, you know, the same thing happened with, with Breath of the Wild. Like, it actually wasn't catching on that well. And then in the middle of me playing... Oh, we're game, still I talking about Nintendo. Stop it. Talk Nintendo about moves. something else, man. Talk about chat. your wife. Was really about Talk about my game, wife. And a lot of the game became, it became like my first ever interaction. <laughs> Please. Through. Please. And that's why it kind of got a little bit of traction. Yeah, but dude, I would like, be, I would be you're not going to make more people show up really well as a playthrough for me. I, I honestly when, will. when you talk well, about people well, not showing up. You're well. not going to get more views. So just there's get over there's it. There's a few times when, like, Metroid Dread actually did do pretty good. But it depends, I think. Okay. Okay. Anyway. The point anyway. I'm making is... We're heading into the end game of Metroid Prime. The point I'm making is today, you're not watching the videos. And probably like one more. But you're giving me tips, so that's fine. All right, and then tonight on the late stream, 6:45 p.m. Pacific time. Oh yeah, by the way, on uh, on a Friday, on his birthday, I'm gonna be going one to one in like a PVP match with him, taking shots. So when he takes a shot that some fucking idiot's gonna pay a hundred dollars for, I'm gonna take a shot that's free. So we're gonna see who, which one of us is gonna last more. And I, I would say he's gonna get at least. A, a, at least a good like five shots because it's his birthday it's like literally the the one day he gets the most money ever consecutive streaming day of the week no you don't have to give me a hundred dollars to drink you have to give him 
Um, <laughs> That's actually the gimmick. Uh, there are four main when he gets three, money, we both drink. Pacing, I've been doing and then I'll be drinking independently for free in case he doesn't get money. So hours, I beat a chapter. Okay? So do the math. If there's four chapters left, you know, it's looking like I'm probably going to need about two more streams maybe to beat the game. I've heard the final chapter. No, I'm not going to take half shots. So, I'm going to take the, the full shots because I have the um, normal shot glass. Tomorrow, and he has a double one. We are about so he takes the half, I take the full. And it, it's fair. Evil 4, they are coming. For those who never played the game, I don't want to spoil. But let me tell you. They are and if he doesn't get tips, which original, I'm pretty sure he will, imagine what they're gonna but... Be I'm gonna drink regardless. Cause it's gonna be. I'm lurking. So I'm lurking, tomorrow. and I'm drinking. I'm Night drinking. On the late stream, like a dragon, Ishin. Now I have a story to tell you guys. Oh, he's gonna tell us a story about what about the short? Like a dragon, Ishin last night because uh, about him sleeping. Was Is that the story the stream, of what dream he um, had when he fell asleep on stream? So last night, we were in chapter ten of the game. The game has fourteen chapters, and we advanced the plot a little bit after having done side content. <clears throat> for the last for several streams that I played, hey, this hold game, on, I didn't play the super we chat. To story development. Oh, the game decided Meerkat, to, King of the boyfriends. to do a yes. seven yes, minute everyone, long yeah. cutscene. I'm not kidding. What? It was like half an story. hour long cutscene. Story, flashback, current day story. Is that why you slept? Flashback, current day story. Talk, talk, talk. Oh, we'll go to a different place. Talk, talk, talk. Because uh, Story, Swaggy Davis about. Jr., like, my oh biggest my boyfriend. I couldn't and stay fan. asleep. I'm serious. And, you know, usually it's not. He couldn't issue, stay oh asleep, God. is the what game he says. was literally putting me to sleep. You could see myself kind of like shaking myself awake. My eyes were drooping like this on stream, right on camera, because it was so fucking boring. And it sucked because. There was major story developments in that cutscene. But bro, this is not the first time. This has happened multiple times of you playing multiple games. And it's also 8 p.m. That it definitely was hard to, to, to pay attention. It's 8 p.m. You, you shouldn't be sleeping at that time. But also, you shouldn't be getting up at 11 a.m., so I don't know. super boring. I mean, I like the game, too. Like a Dragon Nation, I really like the game. But my God, that was the wrong way to do it. I mean, it was, it was giving me flashbacks of Metal Gear Solid 4. All right? So, um... What's funny is I actually have a YouTube short of it, but it was submitted overnight, and I didn't get a chance to review it, and I did get to take a look at it, but the stream was already gone. I was like, well, it's good. It's a good short. It's funny. It makes fun of me for fun, you know, going half asleep there, um, and I will release that tomorrow on the channel. So for those who want to see a funny short of me... Yeah, bro, this is not the first time, though. ...during uh, Like a Dragon last night. Like... That short will be live tomorrow morning. How much would he make fun of somebody okay. else but if anyway, they fell asleep? The tomorrow night, more How much? Like a dragon if Asian fucking XQC fell asleep game. and Phil was yeah. watching him, Thursday is my he wouldn't be off. talking about this for days. Birthday. Now, what Those fucking idiot birthday. streamers. They have thousands uh, of people watching them. Thousands. If they fall asleep... Putting minor decorations up in my office, and what I mean by minor is minor. Like they're usually for my birthday, I go all out. We got big streamers, we got balloons, we got crazy stuff. I'm really not gonna do that this year. I think I may have like one balloon right here. One maybe, balloon? Maybe what kind of a birthday party is this with one balloon? And that's about it. Is it at least a helium balloon? Special. We're doing a one day event to celebrate it on Friday. It's not like usually I have like a whole week. We're not doing that this year. We we changed it up. Um, so. Yeah, which is going to be more more relaxed, more laid back this year, all right? So I'll be doing some decoration, and then, like I told you guys, i got to finish up the setup for the marathon on Friday, whether that's setting up the WWE Fantasy match, whether that's doing the Tier Maker stuff, whatever it may do, be it, whatever it may be, that's what I'll be doing. And uh, more oh. relaxed day last week. He my gets wife extra sleepy when he puts on PJ pants fresh out the dryer. <laughs> you know, honestly, that that does the trick. Uh, the, that's a day off. Pajama right? pants out the dryer. They they do the trick. Marathon They're very good. Event. Okay. So what are we doing on Friday? Mike. Well, there's going to be a level one podcast. And of course, I'll get you caught up on all of the... Uh, I'll get you caught up on all of the stuff that I did on my day off. The Phil's Day Off segment. All right. I'll tell you about what I actually did on my real birthday. Phil's Day Off on his actual birthday. We're going to have a Spoilers. And that's not even marathon. predictions. Spoilers. All, during said uh, he ate some fast food and maybe cake. Jasper and he went slippers. out to do errands. So it wasn't as good yeah, as he wanted it to be. smelling my slippers? They're stinky. They smell like my stinky feet. You don't want to smell those. Cats like feet for some reason. Ugh. Anyway. um, First of all, if I received okay. a large contribution during... How much? The five thousand dollars. I'll be taking a shot 
of the gin that the Dutch brothers do. A large contribution. Uh, again, again we do these like abstract hype. Friday. All right, so that's number one. A large Netherlands, contribution. Uh, Netherlands gin. Yeah. I wonder how drunk I'll get. I hope not too drunk. You're not going to get I drunk at all. The, uh, Super Bowl event. You guys had me take like four or five shots. I was like, oh Yeah, my you God. weren't drunk. Um, You weren't drunk addition, at all. We're going to be doing so many different things during this event. First thing I think we'll do is a schedule update. We're going to go through the gaming schedule for the rest of the year. We're going to see what games are coming out on what dates, on what formats. We're going to talk it out and see what games are interesting. And I'm going to put them on the calendar, the ones that you guys want to see me play. So that's going to start, you know, uh, probably start. And it's not even event. whale tail. It's so some weird we Dutch jam. We know what games are coming because once we know what games are coming on what dates that I'm he playing. He didn't even know what Dutch meant until the other day. To he's like, like, is Dutch from, from, from Sweden? I know you is guys it from Norway? You see certain games you've been asking for them. But we've got to figure out exactly when the time frame is that I could play them. But that's because he's American, dude. He's just a stupid American. He's dragging everybody else with him. So there you go. Um, no, I, I'm not stupid. We're all stupid. I'll be having a piece of my birthday cake live. Oh, yeah, and he's white, on the stream. of course. My wife is going to make me a birthday cake the day before on my actual birthday, and I'm going to have it live on the stream. In addition to that, we're going to be doing Tier Maker. So here's where we get to this segment. Tier Maker is a site where you can go, and you they have this interactive bracket. Kind yeah, of. yeah, it's different yeah. Tiers. It's like, like F tier, whatever. It was like bottom tier. Jasper, do not chew this wire. Do not chew the wire. You're going to get in trouble. There's like lower tier, you know, and it goes up. It's like This is actually going to be very fun to make fun C, B, of. So I'm, I'm low-key excited the top it. tier is like top or S. But I'm not excited like for his thing. So I'm excited for my thing. Things, and you rank them. And it's meant to be a way to interactively be a part of a ranking system, whether it's with another person you're together talking back and forth or with an audience, with a live audience where everyone can kind of debate. Or both. What they like and what they don't like. But you don't have another person. And cons of unless things. you can play with Jasper. Um, to try to rank these things Jasper. live. So what I need to figure out is I need to figure out how to get this to work on my streaming setup. Now, I know with OBS, which is the program I it's use It's going to be so clumsy and lazy, man. I, I can already see how stupid it's going to be. But they don't always work right. I've noticed that, that sometimes they don't work properly. Because so you I don't to take this. the time to figure it out. With you expect browser, it to you know, be plug and play. You press in a button, and then yeah, everything is exactly the as you want it to be. Um, and then I need to figure out how to capture it so it's like gonna fill the screen. Like what I'd like to do is maybe I'm on one side of the screen, and then on the other side is the is the tier maker, yes. and we're kind of live ranking these yes. things together. Like maybe I'll have it up here in the corner. I'm here, and it's up here in the corner, and so we're ranking it together. Or maybe the full screen is the ranking, and I'm in the corner up here ranking it. Right. So anyway, we gotta kind of figure it out. Um, Recently watched a and talk about from last year, so, and there is a pretty stark we'll difference in, second, in his behavior. I, like I think Phil is actually trying two, to quote uh, unquote kind of change. Rank. Okay. So we're gonna do <laughs> I do think so too, but it's kind of for the worse because he's way more impulsive, explosive, and abrasive nowadays. Because I watched some uh, some Tevin stuff from like one or two years ago today, television and the dude wasn't nowhere near as mad, like crazy. You. As but he is nowadays. You can do is break nowadays he's just like you never know where the burger. anger is gonna come from and, and what it's gonna be directed like a bunch to. Bunch of burger chains and or, or restaurants. He's like he's burgers. way like more burgers, unstable right? nowadays. I think we could do that. It would be pretty fun to do stuff like that, right? He would just like rant about stuff for the sake of ranting him because he just hates like shit. Now I'm not saying I want to do. And then the, in the next sentence he's gonna tell you how much better he is and how much more positive he is. I think it's kind of addictive. Like you get into it. And then when you start debating and everything with people in the chat, time flies. Next thing you know, you're like, wow, we just did a bunch of these and they were really fun. So, um... Uh, big ups, uh, no Zaku boy. Xbox Series X has an Edge browser. You can try the C doesn't work on there. Huh? What? Why are you pretending you can't see? Jay, what do you Microsoft, mean Microsoft, the fucking Xbox has a browser in it. Just how the PlayStation has a browser in Xbox. It. But it's not going to work. That's a stupid it, idea. Which I didn't even think about. I was thinking capture from the PC. Yes, do right that. Now, I could have a browser. Don't do the here. Xbox. I my mouse to move the rank and move things around and actually have it on the stream. But you're saying I could do it on the Xbox? I didn't even think about no, it. No, well, how would that it's work? It's not going to work. Because technically, you don't have a mouse <clears throat> and you can't click and drag. And no. isn't the whole premise of Tier Maker? clicking and dragging everything into the rankings yes so i don't know how i would be able to do that how is he so slow xbox, man that is the xbox would be better because it's safer when you're doing stuff on xbox 
You have no potential if something's going to go wrong. If it crashes, who cares? But if like you're on your what? fucking it's PC, gonna it's going to crash. Wrong, this is what I'm streaming on, and the whole thing could crap out, right? But bro, what do you mean? You're opening anyway, a browser. Is, we'll talk about this in a minute, okay? But anyway, Tear Maker. He's so fucking paranoid, man. Part, and that's not even, like, based in reality. He also, just doesn't want to take any kind of risks and do anything different. And we're going to have a meal together on it's the street. safer. And I was actually talking with my wife about what it should be. And I think we have a good idea of what we're going to get. I'm not going to spoil yet. But I think we have a good idea of what we're going to order for food on Friday for a live meal. A new episode of Feasting with the King, The Tasteful Truth. I, I, said know, I, I might just do oh, a gimmick and do the same as he it's does. Feasting like, with get, Phil. Take out the, the same thing. Truth. See, I've been saying with the King for so long, I can't get it out of my head. It's like ingrained in my brain. I'm drinking. And it's called Feasting with the King. I just can't get it out. <laughs> I can't, okay? Um, so, it's like, I gotta get that out. It's Feasting with Phil, The Tasteful Truth. So we're gonna do a new episode of that on Friday. Um, and I'm not spoiling what the food's gonna be at, but I'll tell you later in the week, okay? So we're gonna do that. And also, we're gonna do a WWE 2K 30-man over-the-top rope fantasy battle royal. We haven't done uh, one yes. since the Super Bowl event, which was about two months ago. Yes, so everyone, this will be fun yeah. to do. Uh, I'm going to have all kinds of crazy characters in this one. This one is not themed towards a sporting event or anything extremes. like that or a season. It's you just don't be debate wild. it. You explain the why you're ranking your own choices. He's going to fence it and ask um, the dents. Well, we, we debated it on, on that being said last week when we did the, the DSP drama sagas tier list. And that's what you do when you're like with different people. You know, multiple and but if you're by yourself, you can just like explain. Hey, I think this goes in this one. What do you guys think in chat? Oh, you disagree? Why do you disagree? And then he's just gonna sit there looking at chat for five minutes. Other things you'd like to maybe see during this birthday special event on Friday. I'm all ears, but to me, here's the thing: my actual birthday Thursday is not gonna be a very relaxing day for me. I'm Why not? Go out and do all my errands and everything. Oh, errands, I'm yeah. Do on my day off, right? Um. You know, and it's it's just you know I even have to set up for the event on Friday, so it's just not going to be a good day. A good Why day. Why do I, I care? I feel like it's going to be, eh, it's going to be like kind well, of. Well, you're not really day. entitled and to have a. I think a good day, Friday any day, will be even your birthday, my, my especially birthday when you're forty. Day with you guys, where we chill. I would say well, if you're like ten years day, old, you are entitled so, to have a good birthday because you're cool. growing up now. That's what I'm looking forward. But if you're forty-one, you're not entitled to have a good birthday. And shit happens, and you gotta do stuff. This is my weekly clips react show over on DSP Reacts. And by the way, I should say this: if you are a member over on DSP Reacts. FYI, last night I posted up the threads by which you can now nominate videos for this week's show. So there's some new criteria this week. The criteria are as follows. Number one, you could only post up three clips. A lot of people were posting up a ridiculous amount of clips where you could only post up three. A lot of people Two, means Derek. Not be adult who posted like or 15. Kids oriented because if they are, I can't put them in a playlist and I'll get in trouble if they're in my videos. I know that sounds stupid, but it's just true. Um, Number three, I would say stay away from music videos and that kind of stuff. Cause no copyright, yeah. Because last week we, we got taken down. <laughs> so we got to try to, you know, be as careful as we can. What a bum. Um, but in general, I think it's going to be a great show this coming Saturday. Please dominate the clips if you haven't yet. I know most people have not because you probably didn't even know the threads were live yet. Well, they are live over on DSP React, so please go nominate uh, the stuff that you want to see in the show. And thanks in advance for doing that. That is one of the best interactive shows I do. Last week's was one of my favorites. We watched a lot of good stuff, and I'm hoping that this week. How was it your favorite? This was ass. Okay. And then you got taken down, and you cried about it a lot. And then you begged for tips. So then Saturday night we're gonna do Oblivion. <laughs> How was Sunday, it great? What was great about it? He was begging Probably every 20 minutes. Resident Evil. Every time he was splitting the part, he was begging like a wild animal. Like he was locked in a cage. Birthday event Friday. DSP and then he got like, what, $37, I think. Because I watched the whole thing. We finish it, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that would be like the conclusion stream. A madman. Remake. And then probably Like a Dragon Ishin on Sunday night. And then... Well, oh, yeah, actually, and he did an impromptu Q&A for tips. So that would be April 9th. <laughs> I'm not going to do a late night stream. Bro. What are you talking about? Why not? Because I do need to do the patron private reacts for the month, and this way I can get them out of the way. They'll be done, and then the rest of the month. Or wait, I don't I, have to skip any. I'm stream. thinking this that was Ask the King because I, I restreamed both of them. So I'd like to get that remember. done on Fuck Sunday it. night, the ninth. So no late stream that night. It would just be Resident Evil that day. But then, you know, starting that Monday, it'll be Metroid Prime Endgame. If we finish Metroid Prime, you know, we'll see. Um, and what's going to happen is based on what we talked about during the, the birthday event, the schedule, 
we're going to be able to determine what games you guys want to see coming up next outside of new releases because once we know when the new releases actually are that you want to see now we can try to populate other games in there whether it is a new game plus run of elden ring or whether it's something else because we really haven't talked about anything else recently you know we haven't gone on game pass to see what games are on there we are going to need a new late night chill stream soon because like a dragon ishin is going to be heading into the end game and we're going to wrap that up soon so we are going to need a new game for the late night rotation and we're going to need new games for the day so we'll be should i be looking for a game shortly, so okay. i can contribute it to you phil so you can play Does it and we good? can enjoy i hope so and you can get all so the money the rough schedule i'm lost in between what are really my responsibilities and what are your Friday, responsibilities it's going to be relaxing and fun and i hope that you guys will join despite me all my rage okay. i'm still just um, a pig in a cage <laughs> outside of that we are going to talk about the tier maker thing in just a second uh, despite all his rage do is just the do world is a pay pig oh. da, 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 da. the next breaking. movie i am reviewing for dsp reacts will be the conjuring <laughs> of the black mage. after that review the next one's going to be Top Gun Maverick. I it just hit Amazon Prime. What? I'm very interested in watching this movie. So many people okay. saw this movie last year and said it was amazing. I haven't seen it. I would love to see it. And we're gonna watch it this week and I'm gonna review it for you probably over the weekend. Okay. So that's coming up next. And then after that, uh you know, whatever. We'll figure it out. Whether I'm gonna go and watch more stuff on HBO Max or whatever. But I'm kind of teetering back and forth between Amazon Prime and HBO Max at this point for variety purposes, so Okay, um, I just want to direct your attention to this, our member's goal. Now, here's the thing. The way he does it, dude, it's like a wrestling taunt. I saw a few people's names. Uh, just became just want to direct your attention to this. Four members yesterday, and I'm wondering. Uh, it's like the Batista thumbs up, thumbs down. <laughs> I'd like to check on that. So if you I just want to direct your second, attention to this. <laughs> no, we only lost one, actually. I thought that we would have lost more than that, but no, I'm we're breaking. at 505 members, so that's actually not that bad. I thought we were going to dip a ton, but we didn't. So we're currently at 505 members, and as you guys know, you know, for the last month, we've been experimenting with something different. For the longest time, I had monthly member goals, where... Oh, why? Like, dude, we were trying to hit every day is this same fucking... Levels of membership, oh, and if we fuck. did, I would do a celebratory event to say thank you. Okay? It's almost like he well, loves doing this shit, man. At this point... I feel like that's silly. I feel like maybe we shouldn't be doing that anymore. What it should be is, wow. hey, we're just going to do a celebratory event to have fun every once in a while. Yeah, we have Cody Taylor for five months, dude. But in the meantime, we will have the I'm drinking. I'm drinking. daily kind of mini goals. And if we hit them, great. And if not, it's not a horrible thing. But it's good to have these little daily goals to try to hit. It's a little bit more attainable, I feel. Like right now, my goal is can I get five members today? If I can get five members today, that would be stupendous. I would love that. I would be very grateful. And... The thing is, when you have those little reachable goals, it's a lot more feasible than saying, oh, we only need to hit 150 members. You know, I, I think he's like, doing them because it's just easy. It's a daunting task. It's like, well, how's he's that like, going to happen? He's right? naturally good at repeating these so stupid things. You, that, we tried like, this in March. It, it's almost like on autopilot. You don't even have to think about it. Over 500. All right? So thank you for that. I really appreciate that. If you'd like to become a member today, you get so many different features, like getting a chat crown badge, getting priority in the chat. Uh, so you don't have to abide by the slow mode rules on streams, getting emails yeah, yeah, here yeah. in the chat and in channel comments, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Ask the king priority for my bi-monthly Why not record show? all this really shit and just play it instead of the pre-stream so, shitty fan art? Please and then you, you'll you have a reason uh, a not oh. to actually do this. One great way you can help out uh, the community yeah. as a whole oh. is gifted memberships, change. which are available here. He just you can give the membership to the community and people who are around him. You did, but that doesn't matter. We reset every day. In a priority order. So you gifted yesterday, it doesn't matter. And you watch a lot of content, you're going to be eligible to get that Gifts membership more. over someone who's just kind of a newcomer. You know what I'm saying? So, to anyone who's watching, you want to support the channel in a great way today, consider becoming a member, renewing a membership that may have lapsed, or Super chest, super membership. sticker, tip, like the stream. Outside of that, I am a crowdfunded Suck a dog individual. off. Suck a dog Meaning, off. What you see here Drink is in. Drink That's in. literally it, and then a little Do bit of everything, revenue, which dude. is not a lot, but this is prior, prior, uh, primarily... I don't think he has any gaming so news any contributions today. today, whether it be a super I don't chat, think he has a membership, any. a tip, all appreciated. You Thank you very, very much. I appreciate all of you. Uh, this is the dude who doesn't have any any and plugs and, and he doesn't and shill anything. Who uh, Every single day really we have the exact the same chat. plug segment. And, which uh, is worse really than literally every single podcast that I know that is sponsored. 
every single one. This is worse than every Someone single one of them. If gifted memberships are enabled, type exc exclamation point gift in the chat. A link will pop up, and when you click on it, it should allow you to see if you can enable it or not. There you go. Welcome to a lot of different people. There's a lot of different people saying hello and everything. How are y'all doing today? I hope you're doing well. There is the link. If you click on that, you should be able to enable gifted memberships. If it doesn't what work, are we doing, it means certainly you're in a region that's not eligible, or you may be on an account that's not eligible, like a branded account, which a lot of people don't even know what that means. I don't either. I, I have one and I don't I've never used it, but I still have it. It's really stupid the way YouTube set this up. Okay. <laughs> Jasper's doing good. Jasper's right here in front of me. Right Jasper, me? he's on the um, floor. He's got his fuck off. rolled up like this, like under him, rolled. Jasper, and he's like in a little side stretchy position. And this is why I don't up. fucking like him because be we we the get like street. these like Jasper text to speech moments where it's, it's like I'm gonna to tell you see. why Jasper exists. So fucking lame, and it it does nothing. Just wasting everybody's time with telling people about what his fucking cat is doing. And surprise, surprise, he's doing cat he's stuff. The better today. He's existing like a cat. Today. And now we talk about the weather. And it was actually affecting my internet. Today there's no- Are we serious? Cool we actually out. have nothing to talk about sun, today. This is ridiculous. But, uh, yeah. Not There's even gaming news. Steady he can't even be mad shit. at PlayStation for up, King Gabriel, fucking doing you. something mildly irritating. Uh, big ups to oh uh, the Japanese uh, oh, the person. I mean, he's going good. For two months, you know, I'm it, drinking. It and uh, yes, it challenging. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing drinking. Needs core. to be a I'm new playing. chat. I'm making progress, and I'm having fun. You so chat. Rare hands. Big ups. I'm drinking. I wish you good luck, bare butt gorilla. Drinking. Drinking. Who says? And big ups to Niccolo for one today. month or membership. Good luck. Hopefully Welcome. everything works well with that. Big ups. <clears throat> so, so what I'd like to do with you now. First segment is talk about this tier maker deal. Are right, we serious? I about it. So, first of all, how many of you have actually used tier maker? And oh my god! It, or have you watched a stream that uses it? Oh my god! And I'm actually getting you, pissed you off. Recommendations. Are we gonna do this for real now? How it works and how I can make it work. We're getting a fucking boomer segment. Because I know people tell me how this works before, right? <clears throat> but. We I'm gotta do this I now on company, company time. Browser capture the best way to do it. Just capture a browser and put it into like your capture software, like OBS. Or did you see people do it a different way? Is there a plugin? You are the streamer. How you've seen it work? You're the guy yeah. who's supposed to know how stuff works. And if you don't no, know, you should go look it up. For you guys, not um, just sit here and waste everybody's time and waste your podcast time and talking and about this bullshit. A list of tier maker URLs ready. Well, you what you need is a list of ideas, correct? You need a list of ideas to do because you, on Tier Maker you can just search for them. Like I've done this before here. I'll do it right now live on my laptop. Are we serious? So if I go to TierMaker.com. No. Ah! Okay. No fucking way. If you Please, search. Please, some fucking idiot right in his chat. Please write him a stupid fucking email Mario that is... Game. 15 right? and I, paragraphs I long is wrong if you can believe it i'm so stupid and explaining how it, all of this there works so he doesn't Mario waste Kart everybody's tracks. time there's literally like 280 people mario watching Kart him right now he's mario wasting Kart all of their fucking mario time items. every mario game and i'm here to hate on him so he's not really wasting my time because i'm gonna hate on him regardless so i'll just click on every mario game ranked okay and so here it is the tier ranking is s through d s a b c and d and it literally lists every freaking Mario game, like every one. And then what you do is you drag and drop these games. Correct. That is how it works. Just capture your browser and you can Into just do that. That's all. That's all, man. And you can actually it's a browser window. Each row. You could actually change the label so it doesn't say S, A, B, C, and D. You could actually rank them to say different things. <laughs> how I slow see. is this dude? Um. Like, the actual children can do that. I can and I know they can because they right do. Now. And they get more views than him. It's basically the box art from each game. Which is fun. There's kids that stream on mobile phones really and have better streams small. than this. And I can't tell what it is. Oh, like, for example, geez. I'm looking at this one right here. And it says... So fucking hateable. Why is he so fucking hateable like that? 
I don't know what it is. It's like Mario, but there's a bunch of like pixels underneath his face. You should, you should have, have a bunch of pixels underneath your face. It doesn't give you a name. He'd rather ask actual Drew and Dents like Jade how to do his damn job. No, it brags he's done 15 say, years. You know, I, Dude, it has to be intentional. So he can waste as much time as possible doing literally nothing. I don't know what they are. It has to be on purpose. Give you the name. It cannot not be on purpose. Because you can say, all right, uh, here we go. Yoshi, like this one, Yoshi's Island, I can't read it. It's on a Game Boy Advance. It's so small, I can't read the byline. I don't even know what Yoshi's Island this is. You know? So I can't even say, oh, this is good or bad. Like, okay, Super Mario Maker on the 3DS. That's C rank. It's not horrible, but it's a 3DS version. It's much better the, on a main the, console. Look at the restless legs, dude. I can't dude. imagine anyone playing it for longer than five Looking minutes. Looking like he's actually, C, like, jerking right? off and then you could go, the lower half of his body. Uh, it's constantly shaking. What is this one? Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury. The game that came out on the Switch a few years ago. Well, 3D World's a classic. This is the definitive version. Bro, what are we doing? We can't even see this. It's just an extra added piece of the puzzle. Are we doing a rehearsal for Friday? Full game up. Great package. I'll give it an A. You see? But then what will happen is when I'm saying this, people are going to say, no, no, wait. No, wait a minute. Okay. Now, like a B or a C, and here's why. And people will argue. We'll go back and forth and we'll talk about it. You I think that's how it's going to happen? So that we can kind of with dudes being able to send What's one single message in chat at a time. Say, well, wait. Originally, I said Super Mario Brothers Two was an S, but you know what, man, Mario Three is definitely better than Two. Oh my god! There's no way you can have Three and Two in the same category if one's better than the other. So now we got to bump this one down. <laughs> you see, this is how the rankings work: as you get into these debates about what's better than the other, as you start comparing. Why can't you rehearse this with your wife? You know, you got this really cool interactive ranking system. I think it's very addictive. All right. It's very addictive. Yeah, you're you're that kind of guy. You would know what is addictive. But at the same you're time, you're an expert. That's uh -huh. the one thing you're good at. You can zoom in on the screen a little bit with control and the plus button. Yeah, but isn't that just a browser oh, zoom? Hold on. About yes. Is that not, not just a browser zoom? Yes, you're control. capturing your browser moron. And here's plus. What did you say? Oh yeah, that's just, just a browser zoom. Belongs in a chocolate Right. That's not actually <laughs> zooming in on the screen itself. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was speaking about other streamers not knowing how to do their job. But when he doesn't, it's it's a nice thing. You're supposed to know. Oh, well, I'll tell you right now. One problem: the site has a lot of ads. The ads really? Popping up. You have ad blocker? Maybe not. And that could be we, we don't know how. Tell me how to get ad blocker. So that it won't be so intrusive. You know what I'm saying? We have to try to mess with that a little bit. How are we gonna mess with that? You just literally get ad blocker. That's that's so all you have Mario, to mess with. I'll give you an example. Fucking... So I'm gonna search for just for horror. Okay, I'm, all I'm gonna do is type Suck. horror. Sucker. Sucker. The ultimate internet horror series. I don't care about internet horror series. Horror games. This is one. Horror film franchise. He doesn't even know what tier list he's gonna Resident do. It's just Evil like we're gonna, only. bro. It's gonna be like a six-hour fucking stream on Friday. Horror movie icons. Just the tier list part. Yeah, see? Horror villains? Horror. This is good. There's a lot of... This is good things we could do with that. Just horror, <laughs> no! Horror games, horror villains, horror movie franchises, right? Because let's be honest here. You could, you could have a horror movie villain that may be better than the movie series the villain's from, right? Like, I would argue that Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th is a better villain overall than his movie series because some of the movies are terrible. <laughs> some Friday the 13th This is literally are just awful, a sneak peek. But others are That's exactly good. what he's but doing right now. He's villain, giving you a sneak peek of what the, the series, tier list you know is going to be like. So, so he's so testing rank, the waters. If, excuse me. If you were to rank horror movie series, I might not rate Friday the 13th as highly, but I might rate Jason as a movie villain higher than other movie villains from other franchises. But you're rating the series, you fucking lame brain piece of shit. So, that's what I mean. That's what is, <laughs> is interesting. People are saying, what else do you have? What about Final Oh, how about Final Fantasies? Oh, shit. Bro, See, rate I'm this horror series. series. On the fly. Well, like, I don't like Nightmare so on Elm Street. So been uh, it Final goes in the C Fantasy. tier, but I like Freddy Krueger, so I'm going to put it in the S tier. Sound Maybe good? Final Fantasy character. It's gonna be the dumbest shit ever, man. <laughs> uh, every single Final Fantasy game uh, ever. I'm gonna click on that one. <clears throat> bitch. Here you go. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. What? There's so many Final Fantasy games. This is insanity. <laughs> I don't even recognize most of these. 
See, this is where it's gonna get tricky because they're using the original box art. Oh my god! No. Yeah, I can't even read the titles of. Then do something else. else. Japanese and shit. It's like, oh man. Everything it's has layers of complaints stacked up. Layers of complaints. Yeah. And excuses. Really I can't do this. I can't do that. You know what I mean, I'm gonna need your help. We're gonna have to like zoom in on these titles, try to figure out what the fuck these games are. We gotta do this. There's to do too this many ads. Like, I can't capture it. Can't this is tell. the most here's, obnoxious here's, fucking here's dude. And at some point, you wanna tell him, okay, Phil, five, just don't do anything. Six, just I'm do a Q and A for six hours straight, please. Just do a Q and A, or just do plugs for the whole stream. Just point at the fucking members bar for six hours straight, and then go and fucking suck a dog off. Suck a dog off. Say that. There's 12, there's 11. I see. They put, they tried to Fuck put them in this, here. This the ones. Here's, here's the PlayStation ones. Here you go. Oh. I'm going to get blitzed okay. as rainbows and Friday. See, but that'd be fun. Yeah, I'm going to get drink, drunk fantasies. for this shit. I know shit. people are going to argue. We're going to get into arguments about... Yes, we're going to... We're already getting worse. in arguments. Right? We're going to constantly... We're going to be going back and forth about it. And just, Okay. It's Did you figure out how to do it, or are we just, like, wasting time at this point? We're literally so, just wasting time. I hope that you guys will join me. That's going to be one segment. So what you guys are saying is just do, like, a browser capture and uh, and have yes. it plug into the OBS. Yes. I guess what we could do, we could alternate. What we could do is I could be full screen, and it's here in the corner while we debate. And then when we go back to actually move the rankings, we could flip back over. Yeah, okay. So in the corner. It's like two minutes. Here, and then the ranking will be full screen. Yeah, it's literally two way. two sources. Two sources. The browser Rank and your camera. Ice cream. How much do you want to bet that's in there? Seriously. How, that is true. And then oh, it's going to take him like two hours to get it right. And then he's going to flex saying, about how amazing it is. Because he's a smug so fucking piece of shit like that. It before, but it's in the list. I can say, oh, I never tried it. And just put that one in there to show that that's why it's not ranked. So that way okay. it's fair. Yes. I'm going to type this in, ice cream. I bet you ice cream flavors is here. I guarantee it. <laughs> ice Oh my god, ice cream brands. <laughs> Ice cream flavors. No! <laughs> yeah, here I'm gonna click on what this. What a story, ice cream Mark. Flavors. <laughs> we can't even see this, man. He could have actually tried to like do a demo or like a rehearsal. Like so few. But it's now like, we're even we're like just looking at a website nobody else can see on a, a fucking podcast. Here's another one. Ice cream flavors. Let's try this one. It's not even like a podcast that you so need to like look at the screen. Even if you look at the screen, you can't so see it. Because they're community made, right? So you don't know what you're gonna get. This dude is sick, man. And find uh, find one that's better than another, depending on the number of selections. Oh, right? fuck! I'm drinking. I'm drinking. Okay, this one has like thirty flavors. <laughs> this, We're this one counting flavors of right, fucking right, ice cream, man. This dude is like permanently cheesy, damaged. Eggnog, cherry, peppermint. The the side scroller dudes mint destroyed his batter, brain. Lemon, his brain is just like tumbleweeds at this point. Neapolitan, they're traps, soaked in gin. Beer, beer, ice cream. Blue Moon. I don't even know what Blue Moon is. Chocolate Superman. Cotton candy, black raspberry, regular raspberry, coconut, grape, cookies and cream, chocolate chip, strawberry, chocolate chip cookie dough, butter pecan, and Reese's peanut butter cup. What are we doing? See, this is what I would like to do. I would like to rank this one. What? This would be interesting to me. To rank the flavors. Right? <laughs> what are we dude, doing, dude? This is fun. He's just right listing the flavors of ice cream. Right, I gotta close it, because if I don't what? close it, I'm gonna want to say things right now. Oh, I'm gonna lose but my fucking mind today, this? man. This this, this is, is so fucking obnoxious. Like fun, fun it's stuff. like impossibly obnoxious. There you go, Blumkis says rank Pixar and Disney movies. Absolutely. There we go. Look Absolutely. at how excited he is. He we just wasted that. like 15 minutes doing this fun. shit. 50 states tier list. Get people arguing. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna start a civil war. He's like, yeah, you know, we could do that. Biggest game publisher rankings, and I'm sure that's in there. And you start right Capcom over, Capcom over Nintendo. Konami, oh, is Konami better or worse than Namco Bandai, right? With the, that would be good. That'd be fun. There you go, right? Okay. Um. So that I think this is gonna be a good. I'm glad we're doing this now. I'm glad we're talking about it because this is kind of neat. Joey says, "Did you ever have Rom Rom Popey?" 
Eggnog and rum flavored Mexican ice cream. Never even heard of it. No. E3 moments? Rank E3 moments. I don't know about if they're going to have that. And I don't know if he knows about them. Because this is all has to be sure. about stuff Phil knows. I mean, of course, there you go. But that makes sense. But uh, there's going to be a lot of entries where it's like, I don't I don't know about this. I'm, uh, what do you guys think? Oh, it's a D? Well, okay, then I'm going to put it in a D. It's going to be showing in the, in the, the stream. So that's why this is going to be so fun, right? I think this is going to be, I seriously like, just that five minute demo we just did, I'm actually raring to do it. Was it five it. minutes? Like, this is the, the longest right five now. minutes in my life. I think this would be super fun. Start reading off these ice cream flavors. Because I'll read off, like, so let's say we're doing ice cream flavors. I read off one, and immediately I want to hear what you guys say. What's your ranking on the flavor? We'll have S, A, B, C, D, and then, like, never had or F. I don't know. And I want to see what people say. People will probably immediately start saying, oh, I like this, I like this. And then we'll put, once we start ranking it, I don't the know. The it's I don't fun. know tier. <laughs> And this is something I've never done before. I think it's going to be super, uh, super interesting. The, I and mean, again, it's, it's literally a 41-year-old. Just let this sink in. Now it's a 41-year-old like, kind of dude ranking ice cream flavors see, with a bunch of, like, really actually really disabled progress, kids in his chat. About nothing. We're just chilling and we're having fun. <laughs> shit and, uh, having it's a good some time fucking daddy daycare shit, man. We could. Pickle Man says, how about polling? We could poll. Here's what I could do, right? I, let's say, for example, we're doing horror movie villains. So we do Jason, Freddy, Michael Myers. I will give him credit for one show. thing, though. And I he put, does well, seem excited. Like, this is some of the dumbest that shit that right I've fucking there. heard in my life. In this was right there, boom, 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 uh, obnoxiously boom, 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 boom. long, this is painful Man, segment. Right but he does now, look you know, like he is excited for this. So I give him at least this. He doesn't get excited for a lot of stuff. Unless he's talking about drama shit. Tear Maker Stream right now live on the stream we are absolutely canceling all things we're doing today to do tier maker and if this goes well we're going to do it tonight as well we're going to wait 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 late stream tonight forget oblivion fuck that game we're going to do tier maker all day long no we're not doing that <laughs> of course we're not doing that <laughs> we're not shit. doing that and i got okay. uh i i had it muted on my end while i'm talking I so i didn't hear fun. the the hype I think about this would be it. fun to do on friday i think this is gonna end, watch this is gonna end up being DSP. like a long cool. a segment of this that you guys are gonna back. love by the way keep in mind dsp 2019 drinking what did he do that that was like that in 2019 i don't quite remember and uh big ups to francisco craig and adam broke this man baby <laughs> They fucking violated him, but at least he looks like excited. But in the way like a, a ten year old is excited. I'm, I'm I'm being silly. Obviously, it sounds fun, right? It does. It sounds like a fun. Event. I actually really want to do it. So I think then we're do, do it, man. Do then do it. Like wait until your birthday party. Yeah. You're a sweet forty one. Oh, so he met Steve and just do it. And Tara Strong. You have different things to do. And Wonder now. Woman. Different things. from Justice League Unlimited. Oh, that's cool. What? And Nami. You're a little sunburnt. Universal uh -huh. Studios Orlando, you were there at 12 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> what a story, Phil. <laughs> so, no, what you're a here story, at Mark. <laughs> what a story, Phil. <laughs> oh, you mean you arrived at home at 12 a.m.? So you went to Universal Studios close. Orlando? Oh, cool. We I'm do not care, Jade. I, I haven't been there in a decade. Last time I went there in 2012. That was my last like major vacation I ever went on. Um, and I loved Universal Orlando, but. That was a decade ago, and I, I don't even know what kind of rides they have anymore. Bro, sure the Jade, a lot of the, the Jade comment, yeah. dude. <laughs> I mean, I know it's Jade, but it's fucking funny as shit. That's really cool. You got to listen to this. Report block. I guess what I say is, what, what? what were your favorite things Shut about Universal up, Orlando? Bitch. Like, what were your favorite rides? He said it was too hot. Oh, I know. <laughs> listen to this. I meet Steve and Tara Strong, and Nathan Drake and Wonder Woman. On JLU and Nami, I lit sunburn in Universal Studios Orlando. P.S. I hear at 12 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> what a story, Mark. Fantastic. And this was muted the I whole time, I guess. Hear in that regard. <clears throat> anyway, we'll be curious to hear if you went on any rides, what it was like. And also, <laughs> I can't ask him about the rides. While you were out there, right? <laughs> He's actually in an actual Tard Wrangler at this point, anyway, bro. So I, can, I cannot believe we're event, in this saga. Already where there's like, like openly like dying to do it. Like, super disabled people right in this chat, and he's their babysitter. Fun. He's actually I'm babysitting Jade. Things with you guys about the rankings. You hey, Jade, what was your ride? You I'll, I'll wait. You can tell me. You can tell me what's your favorite ride. I'll wait. I need to actually take the time to think about it. Well, guess what? 
That's what tier maker is, right? That's literally what we're going to do. I'm going to be weighing and balancing these things in my mind for the first time in a major capacity, and we're going to actually find out what's my favorite burger. What's my favorite? Oh yeah, the Final chat stop. Thanks. Game. We will figure this out. What's his favorite burger? I really we'll want to know. Absolutely figure this out. How about that? It's close. <laughs> this, this is gonna, gonna be good. Close? I can't, I can't wait. I'm, look at me. I'm giddy. I'm actually happy. He's I'm like, happy. Wow, we're gonna do something completely different and fun on Friday. Sweet. You made Dude, Phil happy, you guys. Big ups. <clears throat> I gotta get it working with uh, with OBS. I want to make it so that the browser capture works right. Okay, then so try. Mess around a little bit. Put in the effort. Nights or on my day off, I'm gonna mess around with that. And, uh, and, and get then it working he's gonna flex so I'm hard about being able to do it. The most you know, basic thing. Problem, like you see, you guys, we can switch. Like when I'm talking, we can switch the layout. Up, like so this. We'll Look, you see? It's so cool, man. Liv Wilson, would you ever do a variety of content in one stream, like a bit of cheer list, reacting to videos and playing games? I mean, isn't that the point of Friday? Okay, except we're not doing react because my react stuff Saturday. So I don't want to do any react stuff on Friday because we're already doing the, the clip show on Saturday. So in that regards, no. But I'm very interested in uh, what Jade's. Oh, you didn't go on any rides. Oh, Jade, oh, Jade right. says so I not go in rides. Ride, but that's okay. Well, we still had a good time, <laughs> right? Did you walk around? Did, did you did around? you walk around, Jade? Jade, Jade, did you walk around, Jade? Did you walk around, perhaps? Did you take a walk? <laughs> chat popped up i'm gonna i'll cut that out in a second <clears throat> do you see what i'm talking about super blind I'm man in a golf cart. look at this so. look uh, i don't think so <laughs> i'm drinking anyway so anyway that's friday's event i'm excited for it man um it's gonna be a good one i hope you could be if you guys could be here live on friday i'll be doing this all day long you know this variety style stuff to celebrate my birthday, so I hope you could come chill with me on Friday. Yeah, I'm gonna come chill with you, oh, Phil. We're gonna be chilling together else. down here on level one. Uh, <laughs> not really. Nothing is really coming to mind. We're gonna go crazy. Oh, stretch. Oh man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Time to wake up, Phil. It's almost noon. So, I think what we shall do. Isn't it literally noon there right now? And, uh, Bro is still stretching. We'll if some, this dude uh, had to like actually work a normal fun, job, he would just spontaneously stuff. combust. Okay. He would just stop okay. existing. Sound good? Okay, so first contribution of the day was from Bloom Kit, who did a super chat and said, rank Pixar or Disney movies. Yeah, I think that, that's a good suggestion. That's the thing, like ultimately okay. when we do something like this, you guys are going to come up with interesting ideas. You guys tell me what to do. I'm going to put it on a list. Come up with. And you guys and tell me where it goes on the list. Having an interactive stream like that. And it's going to be an interactive about stream. It's me steering the ship and, and captaining us into content. It's about all of us kind of hanging out together and doing an interactive fun event. Um, that's why I think this is actually going to work well on Friday. I think this is going to be something new and different that might actually be quite interesting that we want to we want to continue in the future. Okay. <laughs> Jade, did you oh, walk go around? Go your to thank you for content. <laughs> this is God, so hey, good, man. Awesome. This dude is like an <laughs> unintentional, like, genius comedian. What did you say? It's time, Rope DSP channel. Yeah, this DSP channel is... is it's well, it's totally time, though. I mean... Saying hello. Welcome this is the end time. Stream. But people have been saying yeah. this for, like, yeah, is years at this right over there in Tokyo. Probably even a decade. Phil, will you ever play Return to Monkey Island on stream? Now... Is Return to Monkey Island at this point kind of the, the gimmick is that because I don't I care when it's gonna end. Reasons. Okay. I'm just along for the ride, and whatever happens, who fucking knows? Like this dude is so unpredictable, Reason and meanwhile one. he's like the most the predictable human being ever. With that art style, so you, you really never really know what's like gonna happen. At all, it's like super deformed. Kind of like wrestling. Graphics. And it didn't appeal to me. I was looking at it like, why did they do that? Like, why did they make the game look so fucking weird? We all know it. Someday it's just gonna end, and that's gonna be it. And it's gonna be the last fill stream, and then you're gonna think about it, and you're gonna be like, "Oh, that's so that was it, huh?" Ugly. So people would talk about how ugly. Maybe the real begging segment was the restreamers we met along the way. Style games, and here's the thing. At one point, way back in the day, you're talking, you know, 12, 13 years ago, when I was starting off as a YouTuber and I was looking for a variety of games to play. I never played the Monkey Island games, and so I actually played Monkey Island 1 and 2, and people liked to see me play that classic style of point-and-click puzzle game, 
because it was actually interesting to watch someone who had never played them before. still replying to, to the super chat, man. And also the rage, because sometimes the, the puzzles are so cryptic. There's no way you would figure okay, it out. Okay, we need a out. screenshot Honestly. segment on this one, and then I'm going to turn the speed actually on. Interesting this to shit watch doesn't matter. never played them before. Try to figure them so... out. And also the rage, because sometimes the, the puzzles are so... Yeah, we need this one. This is This is a good one. This is like... <laughs> When you're praying for tips. Oh, cryptic. There's no way you would figure it out without help. A few years ago, like I really enjoyed Mist trying to figure out all the puzzles and things for myself. And then every once in a while I get stuck and someone would give me a little clue and then we could continue on. Some people thought it was and great. Some people absolutely hated it. And was like, why are people helping you out on the stream and blah, blah. And I, I hear you. Here's the thing. You know, last couple of years, my wife and I have started watching other content creators on the internet. There's a couple who, dude, they let their chat literally play the game for them. Oh, and there we go. Obnoxious. It really is like we got the random saltiness segment out of nowhere. And then someone, oh, so and so in the chat says that coming up there'll be a critical choice in a dialogue option. And yeah, I should say like this, with if you, I say this, I'll get a better outcome than if I say this. like, what do you do? Like with you, do they read You're guides? The game. Why are you taking full on step by step explanation? Are we serious? To do the game like that's stupid. The Dark Souls yeah, Redemption Run. Why are we actually serious? What you're gonna do? He's been doing this, this for like a decade now. Playing. You're letting everyone else tell you exactly what to do. He's been reading, bro. Right? Back in the day, he was literally reading guides. And since he became an interactive streamer, he's just been looking at chat. And that's, that's the whole thing. And I don't like that at all. He doesn't there's like it at all. There's critical points that you want to see. I wonder how this person would choose. Oh, someone told him how to do it. It's like, well, that's a waste of my time, right? Yeah, big ups uh, Nicolo for the five months. Side scrollers so broke like them. The next few that. weeks are gonna be fun. I, I think from here on now it's gonna today. get like a. I would want people. It's gonna get progressively worse on a week by week basis. There's a new puzzle in Resident Evil 4 Remake that was added just for the remake, and I was trying to figure it out, and people started spoiling it in the chat, and I put the end to that shit. I was like, guys, listen to me. Ah, uh, yeah, stop. right. I don't want to know the solution to the puzzle before I'm even there. Like, let me think about it. Let me try to figure it out. That's part of the attraction of watching someone play a game not you tell them what to do and i actually got upset but i think that people understood and after that it kind of calmed down and you know no more spoilers so you know there you go um but anyway with a monkey island game i feel like because i'm an Big interactive streamer cat. today watching phil like, so we don't literally. have to i mean i'm not like the nostalgia critic uh or like those internet critics where i'm pretending this is torture this is fun to me because I like watching disasters like this and making fun of them and yelling at them. Even when they're obnoxious, like that previous segment. <clears throat> um, big ups, uh, Steven, for being true. along for the ride. Uh, was good. I don't think it really fits my format anymore. That kind of playthrough is for someone who's playing offline by themselves. Honest first-time experience. Trying to piece together the puzzle pieces themselves on how to solve these puzzles. You know, it's not what I do. I do interactive streams. In a game like that, that's 100% walk around, click puzzles. You're going to have an element of spoilers. You're going to have an element of frustration and boredom if you can't figure it out. Like someone literally just said in the chat, if people don't like Metroid Prime Remastered right now, there's no way they're going to go for a Monkey Island game. And I actually completely agree. He's still talking you know, about that fucking super ago, chat, man. No, you know it's like a it's a zero content day when he does that shit. YouTube. And we spent like 10 minutes looking at Tear Maker. Why he got his hoop held for Elden Ring. Yeah, he did this, and then he had this segment where it's like, uh, I think Dwight Race uh, pointed it out earlier. He was like sitting there being like, I'm not going to play the game until you tell me what to do. That's literally Phil. Literally him. Nice first time reactions to no matter what genre of game I played, I was known as one of those people on YouTube. And we got a Jasper so it feature. Matter what game Jasper. I was playing, people were interested. Today, not or as so I like to call him Jack. Today, there's more of a niche a, that I have. He's a gangster. I don't think that Monkey Jack, Island is going to be in that niche. Jack, Jack, I think it's going to be a game that maybe I would enjoy, and maybe Jack it's Burnell. Game, but I don't think a lot of people would really enjoy it that much. I think that people would kind of be like, "Nah, it's kind of boring." So <laughs> that's why I skipped it last year. What a story! You know, last Mark. year was out, and I was like, "Oh, I'm going to play it," and everyone was like, "Nah." Like, All right, you know what? I guess I'll skip. Okay, this now. gets a skip. I don't skip. know much about cats. I only know much about this cat. That's about it. This particular cat. She's an expert at Jasper. Jasper. Yeah. I don't know about other cats. Um, Aspire four ten H says, "Do you like Super Monkey Ball?" I've only played one ever. Whatever that one I played, what? what she was hated it? that game. Super Monkey Ball. What was it called? I can't remember what it was called. It doesn't matter. We were bad. I, I liked it. It was very challenging, <laughs> but I did enjoy it overall. 
<laughs> like I said, you're playing Dredge for Friday Night Bites. I don't know what Dredge is. What's Dredge? Dredge. It. It's like um, it's a very popular-ish kind of game. Says, Thank you for the shout out. It's about I like fishing you something. To interact with your audience. Thank you. We t we were talking about what are some fun, unique things we could do to have an interactive birthday stream, and that one came up, and it was oh, that's actually a really good idea. So that's why we're doing it. Pickle Man says, "Do I have any interesting questions for him today?" Pickle Man, what did you have for breakfast today? Let's ask that. Let's see what he had. Hopefully not uh, a burger or something, right? Jasper, you're being silly today. You want to be on my lap, huh? He doesn't want to get down. He just wants to sit on my lap. How exactly is he being silly? He's just existing toast, in the capacity toast. of an average cat. Toast. My mom used to make How is that toast silly? from time to time when I was a kid. I love French toast. With a lot of egg. I like it with a lot of egg. Okay. Jesus, did I miss any big tips That's days? Cool. I'll, I'll know when I make him a French Jesus, toast. Right. I will I, I will keep in mind he likes it with a lot of eggs. Anything. But support's been pretty decent. And no, we're not done with Resident Evil 4. We've arrived on the island, which is heading into the end game of the game. But we still got four <sighs> chapters left. Somebody we're, baited we're him into a video game, game summary. So we still got at least a stream or two before we beat Resident Evil 4. What's going on? Ah, watch it! Your claw on my leg. Come on, buddy. Don't claw my leg. What are you doing? Look, he's stiffing my beard. He's stiffing Bro, my beard. Oh, fuck. Don't claw my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Fuck off, Jasper. Fuck Go off, away. We, we're we derailed enough looking probably. at fucking stupid tier lists for five minutes. Go away. Fuck off. We like, but people don't seem to really like me play classics like that either, like retro throwback games. If it's a big yeah. game, like maybe Zelda or... or uh, Link to the Past or something like that, maybe. But for the most part, I don't think people have really had a desire to see me play the older classics. Like like SNES classics or anything like that. Jasper, what are you doing? We got distracted again. Dredge is a fishing this game with a storage sucks. Being, like Resident Evil inventory system. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh, really? I don't even know about any Interesting, other... Interesting, uh, dude. Any other... He's gonna play it now. Because it's like Resident Evil. Like that. By the way, I still have the scars on my arm from his scratching me over two weeks ago. It was it was two weeks ago Monday that he scratched my arm. You can still see it. Do you see the scratch? Oh wow! Him? You still see it? He's, yeah, both sides. He needs to go healing. harder. He scratched me so good, man. <laughs> if Wolong has a DLC, will I play it? Fuck no! <laughs> Hell no! Those are random just belches, bro. This dude is a fucking right. beast. A well, beast. Kaba News, good luck with your own stream. Whatever you're gonna stream. Blue says, did you hear about an absolute insanity on Monday Night Raw last night? Vince McMahon is booking the shows again. The talent had a huge drop in morale. No, I, I don't care. I keep telling you guys I really don't care. Like, that's what I mean about pro wrestling. I have no investment in it anymore, nor do I care. Why is this dude familiar to, to me? Because if I start caring, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to get upset because of how bad it, it always turns out. Wrestling I've seen him is somewhere. always the same for me. It's always the same story. Like, hmm. it, you always think there's a glimmer of hope. Things are going to change and get better. And then it's taken away from you at the last minute. Just when you're about to get the culmination, the happy ending, or the big payoff, it just says, fuck you, and slams you, punch you right in the nuts, as hard as it can. You're like, oh! Why would you want to get punched in the nuts? It's not always right? like that. Why would you want that? I don't it's want It's just that. this time, because like it was in my not great. And, and then the follow-up was not was great as well. It was super random. I that feeling. So, for me, like yesterday I'm on Raw. the testicle torture. I'm not going to watch WWE. What? Okay. <laughs> Bob D says, Triple H told us years ago to stop watching if we're unhappy, and that's what I did. Oh, there you go. Like I said, I stopped 2020. 2020 was enough. When the pandemic hit, and it was like empty arenas. Well, I mean, yeah, that terrible. fucking sucked. With like, a bunch of screens this? there. Too, too and some dudes doing like anymore. DSP reactions on the screens. This. And quite frankly, again, from everything I hear on social media and everything, I I'm, I'm happy I, I didn't invest everyone's like, oh, watch AEW and look what happened to AEW in the last year the shit show that became what happened fucking everyone was CM Punk left and shit. It's like what is this not like schoolyard nonsense like why would I want to watch that was so, it much better know. before that he's just mad well, that CM Punk Sonic left advance. Jasper is good as you can see wrestling is schoolyard me. nonsense Phil he's doing well wrestling is literally yeah, just a soap like, opera for guys like, yeah it's, it's stupidity Fucking Logan it's literally Paul. like drag race for guys. Those scamming and getting sued for it. Oh, let's make him a pro wrestler. Like, how about fuck you? How about stop 
popularizing people who are just bad behavior. Oh, artists. Logan and Paul. There we go. Asshole. There we go. Stop rewarding assholes. We have I mean, I, we have our toxic really segment really of the day, everybody. Stop rewarding assholes. It's Logan Paul. But he's a good wrestler, though. Who's actually good at wrestling, Fighter, unlike Bain? Phil in the or Street Shane Fighter, McMahon, the best character as in we my saw. Opinion, is Bison, and I got him randomly on a random pull. Um, random pull. A single Bison, and I used a single Bison all month, and he's like broken. He <laughs> auto revives. He he's kind of like um, Gil in Street Fighter Three Third Strike. If you're fighting Gil at the end of the game, he's the final boss, and when you beat him, he auto revives and gets all his health back. Bison does the same thing. If he has no health, all of a sudden he auto revives, explodes, and hits everyone. He's like a really broken character, and everyone says he's like the rarest one. And I got him in, in random pulls, you know, for the currency you earn just by playing the game. And I was like, okay. And he's got me pretty far. So that's who I think the best character in the game is. <clears throat> okay. Okay. He, he couldn't even think of how the game was called. He's playing it. This dude is, he's going to get like wailing at some game. He's going to find a game that appeals exactly to his impulses and he's going to ruin his whole life. Better than half the roster. It's mind-boggling. I wouldn't know and I wouldn't care. All I know is he's, the guy's a scumbag, so I don't care. He's a scumbag. <laughs> I don't want to watch him wrestle. Confirm nobody no, who was ever wrestling was a scumbag. No one. He's the first one. Everyone else is a an amazing person. Tank. He says, you can only get Bison by purchasing him. I have him too. That is completely incorrect. He's in the random pulls. He's right there in the random pulls. You're a liar. In fact, just because you said that, I'm banning you because you're trying to say something <laughs> negative about me. So fuck off. I do not ban. I do not buy a single character in the Street Fighter game whatsoever. Like I said, I think total, I spent like maybe ten, fifteen dollars on like a, a couple of dollar or two dollar purchases at the very beginning of the game. And that, uh, yeah, so yeah, you fucking ban. Yeah, you piece yeah, of shit. yeah. Trying yeah. to talk shit about me and making stuff up. Try and talk mm. shit. You're making some stuff. Morons. Ah, itchy nose. Yeah, because you've been fucking I'm snorting coke all night. Mario That's why you look like I trash today. Very, he's been snorting coke like he's Tony Khan. I would be very interested in watching the Super Mario Brothers movie. He's been lurking and drinking. I'm lurking. I'm drinking. <clears throat> Just be pissed off about something. Come on, Phil. What are you going to be angry about now? Get triggered about something. Yes, Jade, of course. Who are you Jade, jealous of? Every month, we mix up the backgrounds here on the screen. Oh, and Jade noticed so the background is different. The month. That's what we've got behind me here. we got Super Mario Brothers 3, and we returned back to the Mega Man 3 artwork that I had uh, in January. So this is this, the layout for the month here. And I know it looks lopsided widescreen when we're actually in the game mode. Yeah, he's just reading chat balance. at the moment. There's no gaming news today. There's no nothing else. Like, like this podcast has been right actually nothing. There's something there. Zero right content. <laughs> Zero. Not even one content. Zero I'm content. forward to the next Guardians of the Galaxy film? Eh. I so it started off literally just like summarizing his gameplay uh, in the last few days. Then we got him self-promotion about him and his birthday. Then we got begging for members and contributions and all that shit. Then we got talking about tier lists. And now we got this weird segment where it's just like a Q&A. Like Guardians of the Galaxy. That, like actually the nothing. First one's a good movie. I think the second one's just like kind of eh. So I don't know about three. I don't, I'm not really looking forward to it. Okay. <clears throat> cool story. Beast Wars. A Beast Wars Transformers movie. I wonder how that's going to be. Hmm. I don't know. And we got at least half an hour more of this. What's good on hot dogs? I mean, nothing. If I were to make a hot dog right And apparently now, he doesn't, he hasn't even got any amount of money yet because he read a couple of super yeah, chats and relic. zero tips. If I had it, some nothing time, today. Right? I also like diced onions. And he like, likes diced onions. Real hot dog is some mustard and a bunch of really good condiments on top. Some people go crazy. They like bacon bits. They like melted cheese. They like chili. Okay. All that's good too. But to me, a classic dog with the works is like some kind of mustard. Classic dog. You know, relish, sauerkraut, diced onions. That's my favorite. Okay. Are you finding something there behind the ear? I think he is. If I go to Costco on Thursday, will I try the pizza? Why would I go to Costco on Thursday? No. We just went last week. The whole idea of Costco is you go there rarely, like once every couple of months, and you stock up on stuff 
so that you don't have to go buy it at the store every week. Like, for example, we bought paper plates, paper towels, <clears throat> some cleaning supplies, uh, tissues, you know, things that are commodities. And you buy Commodities, bulk, there cheap, we go. The commodities. And you don't have to go buy those things again <laughs> for many months, so why would I go to Costco again uh, two weeks in a row? That'd the be commodities. Really like that would have been and they got the the plastic how did he call them plastic supplies or something right which means like <laughs> fucking paper plates paper plates that's that's all he got because it, it's two well, lazy see, bums in that household Nintendo two bums i mean the no brain basically here. two homeless Zelda. people and somebody Everyone gave them a house say, i want that's it. what happens everyone wants legend of zelda and they gave them video so games that's the next one then after that probably like metroid i would think and then after that, this Who am I kidding? Way. Homeless people are way better than these two. The movies, for sure. Homeless people actually know how to survive. This dude is just like existing. Jeremy's not our even surviving. Netflix, HBO subscription ends loads of great movies and series. He got carried watch. through his whole fucking life. Well, he got well, carried is, by people that are like to watch fucking movies? much uh, worse off like than him. Hear me review from Netflix. That's an interesting. Squid question, Game, right? Review Squid Game. Phil, be racist. For 45 minutes. Oh no, I don't use anything to do stream labs for streaming like that. Someone said, if you stream labs, do you have suggestions for settings? Sure, 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 sure. All those things. So, stream labs, stream elements, and there's a few. Sure, 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 sure. They all have plugins and things. Oh. For like streaming. I've never used a single one. I don't know anything about them. You don't know anything oh, about anything. Sweet, and they have all that shit. I don't use any of that. I use all. What do you know, actually? Stuff. What I does Phil know? Services, so I can't really talk about And those. we're not talking about begging. Because he doesn't know even how to beg. Because I mean, most really of the time, it's not even effective. That's probably going to be giant, man. To see all those game characters duking it out with plot and everything, it's probably going to be very big. Kid Icarus? Eh. I don't know about that. I don't know about Kid Icarus. I don't think not enough people know about Somebody him. asked him, is Cad going to be joining on his birthday stream? Tell us why not, crap, Phil. No, my wife doesn't is not in my content for very good reason. Yeah, why? What's the, the amount, reason? The amount of harassment my wife has received for simply being my wife literally <laughs> just because she's part of my life as my significant other is so tremendous that there's absolutely no way that she's going to participate in my content i'll tell you that right now like i always tell her the door is open if she ever wants to come in here and be a part of it and a couple years ago she almost joined a, a halloween stream she actually if i didn't tell you guys this all right i'm gonna what? spill some beans here right i'm gonna spill some tea on the stream you ready for this it was about two years ago. Why are you doing this, though? After her not Bro. being on stream for you. Yo, 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 hold the fuck on. Why are you revealing personal fucking details about your life that you want to keep secret? He has so many segments. I don't want to reveal anything. It's none of your fucking business. Oh, you guys, I'm going to reveal some stuff. Are you ready? I'm going to give you a nice little peek at our private life. In years. Bro, it's like, why are you snitching on yourself, moron? She bought a Halloween costume. So he can make himself look like a victim. That's why. And she was going to be on my Halloween stream for the first time in years. And you want to know what happened that week? People on Kiwi Farm started fucking doing fucked up stuff to her and her family. What? So she said, like what? Zelda, I'm not doing like it. what? I give up. And that was it. Like, that was it. That was the defeat. Oh, is it the dude who fucked her sister? Is this what we're talking about? The, the dude who fucked her sister and she took a bath in Kool-Aid? Is this what we're actually talking about? To her and her family. As far as I know, the only family she got is her sister. As far as I know, and as far as she shares. Because she was actually saying, I guess it's been a long enough time. I'm Bro, actually... like, this is the plot line we're in, where her sis where Kat's not going to come on stream because some dude on Kiwi Farms fucked her sister and then posted about it on Kiwi Farms. Oh. Why is he talking about Jenna? Because uh, she's in this now, apparently. But it, it's, wait, wait, wait. How much did they support Kat's family? Now that Jenna is in jail, did they support her? Did they try and bust her out of prison? Did they, I don't know, ambush the convoy and try and break her out and try and extract her? Did they do that? Did they try and pay her bail? No, they left that bitch in fucking jail. But now we care about Kat's family. Now it's very important because somebody had sex with her sister. I'm drinking didn't come in back i want to do some stuff with you let's do it let's do a nice halloween stream as a surprise I'll what a fucking costume. bum and then these fucking people literally out of nowhere they're harassing her her family and shit it's like what the fuck like what is wrong with you what is like, it the mean harassing her family what family does she have outside of jenna not part of my content has nothing whatsoever to do with the content because now what's gonna happen 
is all the trolls on Kiwi Farms are going to go to the cat thread and they're going to go through the whole thing around Halloween last year because he just said that Jenna, uh, that, that cat had a costume for Halloween. So all you need to do is go on Kiwi Farms to the cat thread around Halloween last year and you can find out exactly what happened uh, two years ago. Correct. Two years ago. And then you're going to figure out what they actually did. Because this dude is a fucking moron and he's snitching on himself. And the only thing he's going to do is get more trolls to talk about his fucking wife. I love the horse. Just go out of their way to do these really messed up, fucked up things. And this is the stupid thing about it is the people who want to see her on the streams the most are the people who do. Oh, yeah. This is the whole talk about my wife segment. Talk about my wife. Please. Talk about my wife, please. please. Please talk about my wife. Hey, stop talking about my wife. Fucked up. Why things. are you talking about my wife? That make talk her not want to be wife. on. Like, how dumb can you be to not understand that if you continue levels of harassment, she will never ever come back. If you would lay off the harassment and not. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we don't give a fuck about your stupid fucking wife and her stupid bitch ass makeup that she can't put on properly. Go fuck yourself, Jenna moron. Yeah, Jenna called him a pedophile and he was like jerking off in front of children because she bought that story. Well, things about her and not go out of your way to do online harassment towards people, then maybe they would actually she would say, oh, I'll come back now. But the, the not coming back. Bitch, she'll never come back. You're denying yourself through your own heinous actions, but they're too dumb to do. They're not self-aware. We're, we're denying yeah. ourselves what? Looking at Cat and making fun of her? Because what he's trying to tell you is shut up about Cat, so maybe she can come on stream. And when she comes on stream, then you can make fun of her because she's gonna be there, and he knows he's gonna make fun of her anyways. What fucking sense does this make? But he just wanted to shit on somebody. And now we're shitting on somebody. Damn. The only thing that exists is everything outside. They They're denying they themselves. To understand and under have any, any modicum of self-awareness. So, <clears throat> oh well. Keep shooting yourselves in the fucking foot is all I have to say. <laughs> How dumb can you be, right? It sucks. I would love, absolutely, <clears throat> love for her. This dude is so stupid, man. On stream. One million percent. Okay. But... She just doesn't want to do it. Too much harassment. This is ridiculous. And now the thing is that I'm going to go on Kiwi Farms after this stream and I'm going to find out what they did. And it's going to be funny as shit. Do I watch movies on Tubi or Pluto TV? No. Nope. So it's like 2021 it's around like playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. September, She's October to go, around. Go, I think. Maybe even and like late October, because she already she got the that on and off the, and, uh, the outfit. What do I stream with? OBS. I told you guys I've been using OBS for many, many. Yeah. Years. What else are you gonna use? Um, originally, when I started Streamlabs OBS, I was using. Oh, what was it called? It was the one you had to pay a subscription for. I can't remember what oh, it was called now. It's been so long. But it was one you had to pay a subscription for to stream with. And I had that one for a while, like two, three years. And then people convinced me and said, OBS, yes, it was XSplit. Thank you, Darziak. It was XSplit. XSplit. I liked it. I liked XSplit. But then certain things stopped working with XSplit for me. And I don't know why. I think what it was is I switched, I switched something at one point. Whether it was a capture device or it was something, some piece of equipment, I switched. And it stopped and it working. Work huh? with XSplit properly. Yeah. So people said try OBS, and I tried OBS, the open, you know, it's the open source one, and everything worked. And I was like, well, I'm just gonna keep using it. I've used it ever since. It's been it's been many many years I've used OBS. And so with OBS, the good thing is it's very flexible. There's so many different things you can do. You can import so many different <laughs> things. There's plugins you can use what to make story, things work Mark. in it. So. That's really one of the benefits of OBS. Of course, the downfall of OBS is that sometimes it wow, has issues, and because it's open source, they don't get fixed right away. Or somebody driving crazy outside. Features and it screws you over. I'll give you an example. Like so what? Years ago, I used to have moving animations on my pre-stream art. Remember, I used to have like actual actual animated gifs and things that were play. Okay. And you might not notice I don't have those anymore. Well, I updated my OBS. And OBS decided to put a limitation on slideshows. They said, oh, what's happening is people are putting in too many high, like, like usage, high bandwidth usage 
images and it's like crashing OBS and causing people's computers to over what? crash. Isn't so that their problem? It to limit the size of a slideshow. And since they coded Kinda it sounds like size, a skill issue to you me. you can't have anything moving. Because the size is exceeded right away. And I was like, why did they do that? Like, if I don't I, get it. It should be in my realm to determine what I want to do with my yeah, own stream. Yeah, sounds about right. I, I should control my own stream. So if I want to put moving animations in, and hey, if it fries my computer, that's my fault. Because I'm the one who dabbled in it, and I'm the one who took that chance by adding in a hundred high-sized moving animations, right? Why, why are you telling me that I'm too stupid to know what I'm doing and therefore just take the whole ability away to do it? That would be like, uh, you know what I compare this to? Something that I actually completely disagree with. You're in a city, and the city outlawed large fast food items. What are we we're talking no about? allowed to sell large Phil, amounts of soda. Phil, you fat fucking moron. We know what the current case is. Why don't we just talk about it? Why do we have to make analogies that don't make sense? Why not just stick to the fucking thing you're talking about? Fast food items, because the we have an obesity epidemic in our bitch. city. Yeah, but people are adults. People have the right to choose what they do. If they're stupid, and they constantly eat badly, and they, they get obese, and they die from it, that's their fault. Who are you to be some authoritarian figure to tell me I can't buy a large quantity of something just because some people are irresponsible and stupid and they can't? Then stop using OBS. That's also your choice, right? You're an adult, right? Correct? Correct? You can choose what software you want to stream with. Stop using OBS if that's too much of a fucking problem. Control themselves, right? So it's kind of the same thing with OBS. Oh, well, we saw that some people are stupid and they put too many moving GIFs and animations into it, so we're just going to limit it. Now no one can do it. Wait, what? So now we all suffer because of a, a bunch of stupid people. That I don't. I hate that mentality in life, so... He has that mentality because he's smarter than everybody OBS else is when they update it and they change something and now you lose an ability because like i had a few things i really liked about obs over the years that have been lost because they changed them it's like that's bullshit so but anyway obs is what i use so um mishael has dropped a five membership bomb on the channel thank you mishael congrats to the following people zen shuriken detractor baxter strict orders sub silver and hwt congrats to all of you i'm getting those memberships and obviously thank you very very much to mishael for the gifted members, let's uh, update the leader. Oh, here. October 2021 yeah, in, is when so Jenna was ranting about about DSP. Let me check. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me bring up a um. Uh, fuck. How the fuck was that called? The song that I made because I used that rant, right? It was here somewhere. Oh, this this stream is gonna get fucked. This is gonna get age restricted. So, so fucking sad. I'm just gonna play a, a small I bit. Gonna save that bitch too. I was gonna rescue that bitch. Now that I know she's into that shit. <laughs> now that I know that she's into pedophilia. <laughs> I will. Yeah. Okay. That's that. That. That's all. Uh. No more. And here's the lore somewhere here, right? Do I have the actual clip here? Oops. Uh. Oh, DSP. DSP. Become a member. I don't have it. I have it here. Here's the thing. Let's see what this video is if about. If you're obsessed, if you're obsessed with a pub, and this was September 17, 2022, but this was an old video at the time. Figure who happens to be a child molester. You, my friend, are a child molester. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking. Anyways, going back to film. Before, so thank you. We got some growth already today, thanks to Mishael. Now, since we haven't even Mishael. started, obviously, I'll uh. I'll throw on another arbitrary five members there. If we can maybe hit those by the end of today, that would be great. But thank you, Mishael. Awesome support so far here on the pre-stream, okay? So by the way, guys, a few more minutes of pre-stream, and then we're going to get into A Metroid. few more minutes, So far, dude. no tips to shout out at all. No tips. Um, a couple of super chats in those no. members. Thank you for that, Mishael. I appreciate that. What did you guys not like about this? Okay. The segment about the tier maker was awesome. The impromptu Q and A, godlike. He when he told, uh, when he asked Jade Matthew if he was taking a walk, Aww. Matthew Lillard, you missed him. Base, all right. It's not that big of a deal. He's not that big of a celebrity. I'm anyway. drinking. <laughs> anyway, sounds like you did meet a lot of good people, though. <clears throat> no, I have not been to Antarctica, Willow. Sorry. I think you think I'm a way more exciting person than I really am. I haven't been to, to Antarctica. No. <laughs> yes, OBS is free. OBS is open source. It's completely free. 
No, it's actually yeah, paid. Curious, I need back in the day. Costs, no, um, 20 so bucks, and you gotta send it to me ago, and we gotta personally. Send it we never beat it. We <laughs> and, and then I'll send you a, an executable for OBS. Sound good? People person says, I enjoy Resident Evil 4's graphics. I'm on PS5 with ray tracing. And I don't give a fuck. I'm honestly not as impressed as I was with Resident Evil 2. Is it time okay. gen only already? I feel like it doesn't... <clears throat> I feel I doesn't on PS5 for not. I have no idea what that last statement meant. Uh, means that he's stupid and we skip. Nah, What's somebody's gonna send him a dollar. It's sale. not gonna be a tipless um, podcast. He's not gonna let it be like that. Today over a Somebody later, has to send him a dollar. A shirt, or at least like 10. The and then we're gonna get the one minute shirt. man, so he's gonna make it to like 50. Painted, hand drawn. He's gonna make the 50 the this stream, for sure. That's pretty much guaranteed for the day stream. The logo. That I got when Street Fighter 4 first came out in 2009 and Blanca was my main character in the game. Within about a month of me playing it, someone made. And that the thing shirt is that with him, and I still to this um, day use that his shirt. pay pig see here, it as dude, humiliation for all of them. And if he has like a really terrible day, like when he had that Mass Effect seven dollars stream, it was like a disaster for everybody. The energy tank mode because it's a wee thing, you know. A decade ago. And so at least somebody is gonna show up and give him like twenty bucks. Uh, I love it because I love classic. If it's like a have a mug that looks just like Beg Con Zero. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like I paid for a PS5 not because there aren't that many this gen only games taking full advantage. Resident Evil 2 Remake was more groundbreaking and it was only on one gen. I'm still confused, people person. I still don't really know what you're getting at. Are you Bro. saying you don't feel like you're getting your money's worth out of the PS5? Is that what you're saying? No, he wants games to stop coming out for the PS4 so they could Fearless utilize the maximum fucking one. capacity of the PS5. That's it. I would say <clears throat> X-Men versus Street Fighter. How are you so stupid? It's probably the most fun of all the versus series. Marvel's Capcom 1 was the first fighting game that I actually got really competitive in. That's the one where I started entering video game tournaments. Uh, any Askers, perhaps? And I actually was one of the top-ranked players in the world when the game was officially retired from the tournament scene pre-Evo. It actually happened like a year before Evo started. Um, so yeah, Marvel's Capcom 1 is my, my personal favorite for competitive reasons. I think the most fun is Xbox Street Fighter. I think at a high tournament level, the best competitive one is Marvel's Capcom 2. <clears throat> you have some interesting collectibles there. Awesome. <clears throat> Oh, I thought that the Mega Man Energy Tank was Energy Tank from Super Metroid. No, it's the actual E tank. It has E on it. It's the E tank from uh, Mega Man. Looks just like. Okay, it. sounds like, good. Yeah, that's fantastic. I prefer watching this like this. Wow, it's so realistic compared to the previous games. But since Resident Evil Seven has anything really blown us away graphically, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm thinking, I'm like everything kind of looks the same, photorealistic now. Which is fine, you want that in every game, but have you ever seen anything more groundbreaking than, than like that year? And to me, I mean, answer no. Why do you care so much about fucking graphics and video games, feel like dude. it was almost like first-person horror Blair Witch style, but it was actually a Blair really Witch style game. And since then, I don't know if we've ever done anything groundbreaking with graphics at all. I don't think I've seen a thing that'd be like, wow, that's cool or anything. It's just kind of everything looks samey, so. Okay, yeah, let's skip ahead a little oh, bit. See, this shit fucking no boxes. I didn't know that Dredge was a horror game. <laughs> <laughs> Would I play Dredge Fishing Horror Game? I don't know. It's a horror game? I didn't even know that. Yeah, you didn't even know the game existed until today, and somebody told you it existed, and then you're like, oh, what is Dredge? And then they told you it's a fishing game, and then you're like, oh, it's a fishing game. And now they told you it's a fishing horror game, and you're like, oh, it's a horror game. I didn't know that Dredge was a horror game. <laughs> you didn't even know it existed. What the hell is a fishing horror game? That's crazy. How could it be horror? I don't know. <laughs> Has big fish that eat your pickle man. I don't ass. know when we'll start hearing about the next generation of consoles. And I have no clue. Then your face. When was the last time I received something by fans? Just a, couple, a week or two ago. The uh, I told you. Oh, the this is him. Him on like it one time speed is is like I'm slowed it down. Fish. My wife is so slow. What is wrong with this dude? With. I think she would like to eventually do something out of that Street Fighter cookbook, but she hasn't yet. Did I ever listen to Old MacDonald Had a Farm? Yes, when I was a child, I listened to Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Indeed. Okay. Crisis Core? Yeah, Crisis Core I got back in December. It's right over here, I think. Are we serious? I never played it. There it is. I should play that before Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake Part Two. I think you're so right. You're so slow. Oh, my God. In this, like, his chat is, like, completely yeah. okay. dent mode. Makes sense. Yeah, because that's going to give us Zach Maximum story, right? dent mode today. They are so me. slow. Oh, wow. This is a nice hair shot. Wow. Let's get a little bit of a zoom in manual. 
lean in manual zoom wow this is this is a hot 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 <clears throat> wow look at that Shit. If the announcement Metal Gear Solid damn. 1 remake, would you return to the original Metal Gear Solid 1, which never got a full redemption run PS remake without Kojima is sacrilege. I don't have access to play the original Metal Gear Solid anymore <laughs> because my PS3 died. It doesn't uh... connect to the internet anymore. There's no way to play it outside of that, so the answer is no, unless there is an active way to play Metal Gear Solid 1 outside of on PS3, which I can't play. Okay, so the no answer is... Like a dog on, <clears throat> basically. Sucks. It does suck, and so do you, and so do I. Everybody sucks you in a movie about your life i say it over and over and over and over and people don't listen i keep telling you over and over and so over slow, the bro. only person the only person all right who could hit those notes perfectly who could be me in a movie is bill the murray person who is essentially my body double danny devito i don't know why you guys keep asking me this question Oh, this is such a non-funny segment. It's like the opposite anyway. of funny. It's like a non-midi podcast, guys. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Whoa. Enjoy. It's a dollar and podcast. Course, a certain event. And he ended it because he got bored. We still have like 20 minutes to go because he was like, I don't know, uh, late or something. Bro. Now we got this. Yeah, of course. This fucking sucks. And, and it's always way too long for some reason. I don't know why he lets it go on for this long. But anyways. For real. The dollar podcast. We did it. I told you guys somebody's going to give him a dollar. And they gave him exactly a dollar. Actually, a dollar twenty-five. So there we go. I mean, I guess that's it. And now he's gone. Where did he I go? I probably wash my hands after I use the restroom. Oh, he went to use the restroom. So it's going to be a big break. Because he's uh, passive-aggressive at chat. And it's like, oh, you fucking idiots. You didn't give me money, so now I'm going to play a fucking ad. Did he play an ad? I don't know. I have ad block. So he can fuck off. Did he say? In the opposite order of that, I should probably wash my hands. Fun. Okay. Would be great if you could support in any way. And we beg. This is not going to be a super, super duper exciting, riveting gameplay stream exciting. for you. But there'll be a lot of interaction and fun. We can make it a good stream together. It's gonna be a lot of if, fun. Uh, and let's make a good stream together. Just chill with me. All I right? need your buy-in. Right. Let me go. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna wash my hands, use the restroom. All right. In the opposite order of that, I should probably wash my hands after I use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> so this is it, man. This is the fucking podcast. Uh, it's so stupid. And now he's gonna drop like a hundred viewers and he's gonna come back and be like, Oh, I guess they couldn't wait for me for five minutes for me to fucking go to the bathroom and check up on my wife and pet my cat and walk around aim aimlessly at my house. These fucking idiots. So anyways, I don't even know what to do. I guess I'm gonna end it here. Uh, perhaps. Hey, we got the, the turban. So go watch the turban. Let me set up the forwarding for you so you don't have to actually bother. And that's it. Like, thanks for the existence on my stream today. And I appreciate it. I would be cool if you smash the subscribership button because we're 40 away from 4,000. And 4,000 has a good sound to it. And it's also a bigger number than 3,000. So if you're watching this and you want to see it more, then you do see this there's actually nothing to see you're getting scammed uh but yeah you can subscribe if you want and i'm gonna set up the redirect and when i do you will be gone and i will be gone and i will see you again and i set up the redirect so be gone right now